Woohoo! Welcome in, friendos! Let me just dial in this song. It was just starting. There we go. Do I need to balance this? It is super duper sunny, Amp. Yeah, two degrees Celsius today. I think it's gonna get much, much warmer than that though. It's already six degrees Celsius, my watch says. Happy Friday. How are we all doing? Okay, let's see what this does. Boom. One less. There we go. Hi, Blood Oak. Oh, yeah, 11.6 Celsius. That's super nice, too. Do I need to turn this? You know, first stream back of the week. Sussing things out. Okay. Welcoming Cookie. Kimmers was first again, as always. Sammy is popping up a lurk de lurk. Sounds good. Hi to Mythical Suki. How are you? Good to see you. Izzy Rogue is in here with us. It was almost 15 a couple hours ago. So nice. It'll probably get up to like 10 Celsius today, I would say. Like the sun just feels so warm. My bro and I were talking, it's like, it's the ground that is like really cold now still. Other than that, the sun is so, so warm. Hi, Vune! How are you? So good to see you. Indian, the most popular food in the UK. Love a good curry, right? I am so excited for this plate today. We're making five portions. So four for us and then one for Chrissy Dubs. Did you get that? You get a view from Sammy at work. Amazing. It's like, wait a sec. What is happening here? <laughs> so good. Oh man. Yeah, today has been awesome. Don't know if you guys saw my post in Discord in the food photo section yet, but I had a busy morning breaking down ducks. So we bought 14 ducks yesterday if you were around for our grocery shop stream after work. That was really fun. So today I butchered all the ducks this morning. Like we get up at 4.45. So I was up with Sam. Been chilling ever since. Been doing my thing. It's awesome. And now all the ducks are curing right now for the legs for the confit tomorrow. And I prepped all the breasts up so that tomorrow we just have to score the duck breasts and sear them off basically like a steak. And then we can get a stock going as well from all of the scraps that I got. It's going to be awesome. Sorry, seven, seven ducks, 14 pieces, right? Thank you, Cookie. A tier two resub for 34 months in a row. Time flies, keep all the deliciousness coming. We're here to spread the deliciousness, Cookie. Thank you for everything over the last 34 months. This is wild. So two more months and you're at three years with us? What? I cannot wait for the day that like slowly we can start to like meet each other again, hang out. I feel like it's getting closer and closer. Vune, you're doing all right. Your back, neck and head is killing you. Only have your sedentary lifestyle to blame. <laughs> I mean, yeah, usually when you like make yourself rest, that's when like sometimes the like, I call it demons, get rid of your demons are coming out. So it, it all comes in waves, right? You got this, view. We're just happy to see you. Hope you're doing okay. Okay, I think that's my last sip of water. I just finished the a coffee before we started here from my bro. So, so good. Okay, so menu today, what we're cooking on up. Butter chicken plate, super excited. Kashmiri rice, which is like a fruit and nut style Indian rice. We're gonna do a curry spiced roasted cauliflower. Cucumber raita, which is like a creamy cucumber sauce to go on the side. And then when we're done all of that, or we'll fit this in wherever we feel, we're gonna make some buttery flaky pie crust for tomorrow for our citrus tarts. 
I always like to make the pie crust the day before because I find it rolls out so much easier if you let it sit overnight. So that's what we're going to do. Nice cookie. That's right. Yeah, you just finished a long road trip. Bus butt muscles hurt big time. I feel ya. Well, let's rest up this weekend, guys. Hi, Clem. Yeah, I hope you're having a good day. I know it felt so good. I was like, wow, I can choose a t-shirt to wear again. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> the pain you feel, that's good pain. The pain Vune feels, yeah, that's punishment. Sometimes you got to make yourself rest, right? Okay, so that's what's going down today. Lots and lots of good recipes linked for all of that stuff too. And they're all in Discord as well. So you can always go back and search for them at another time. I think we'll pop our hair up and then away we go. We will make a list, go over everything for the day. Once we start cooking, starts rolling right along. I don't think I have anything else to report like new from yesterday. Nothing at all. Everyone enjoy the full moon this morning. If you got a chance to take a peek at it, it was so dang bright. Felt nice. Flex on him first thing. Guys, I'm just, I'm just putting my hair up. <laughs> okay. All the birdies are so happy outside too right now. Boom, boom, boom. Sam won't be home for like a little bit later today. So I don't know if you guys will see him at all, but definitely tomorrow and Sunday. Jabberwocky, welcome back. How are you? What's happening here? Tied this up here. I'm just grabbing my pen. We stole it. We stole it the other day to write some stuff down. Purple pen. Okay, so butter chicken. I think we actually will start with that because it has to marinate a little bit. So you marinate the chicken on its own in like the little pieces. <laughs> it's our Friday theme, typical schedule. Uh, Mrs. Ruby and her community are rolling on in here and I am honored as always. Harmless, thank you for the 14 bitlies. How was Katie's stream today? Happy Friday, friends, to everyone coming in. We are just getting started here, so great time to join. We are gonna be cooking some really delicious Indian food today, making as much as we can from scratch. Very pizza-y, right. I saw she was making on the title, Cookies and Pizza. Kelsey, thanks for the follow. Yeah, love a good pizza. I mean, Friday, cookies and pizzas. I don't have to get the kids. She doesn't have to leave us. Yes. <laughs> Yay, how are you doing, Katie? How are things? You, the fam, streaming? Hope all is good. We're just going over our little prep list for cooking today so we stay organized and then we'll get started. Cadmos Tech, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, I mainly stream an educational focused content. So feel free to ask away any questions that you may have. We're all here to learn together. Katie made multiple pizzas. Hi, Max Peck and monster cookies. It's so funny that you made those. Cause like you say that to people and people are like, what's a monster cookie? They're so good with like the colored M&Ms in them. Nom. Then she kicked you out of the kitchen rather than share the food with us. Man, we're just the worst, hey? <laughs> the hosts of the food streams never share. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you, Cadmos, for the 14 biddies. You're good. Fam is good. Stream is great. Wrote your own Detroit crust recipe, which makes you your own hero. Good one. That means like you've made it enough times that you feel comfortable and you made it work for what works for you. I love that, Mrs. Ruby. Sounds awesome. She made her own recipe. I was gonna say, did you adapt from cheeses? <gasps> you did it to a sourdough? You should like tell him. You should tell him that. Maybe he'll use it. Be like Mrs. Ruby style sourdough Detroit pizza. Boom. Hi, Scarlett. Good to see you. 
It's your favorite? Oh no. Do you want an extra plate of this too then? <laughs> Hi Weasel, how are you? Yeah, now she doesn't even need to visit Detroit. Hero has been made. She's watched her do it on the last stream. Well, perfect then. Everyone knows. <laughs> and then, not sure if you ever noticed this, but uh, up over here, that's Mr. Pepperoni. We also do love pizza here. Yeah? I can do that. It'll be way cheaper too. It'll be like a $15 plate. So guys, Scarlet, she lives kind of close to us. She's getting her first Cook with Kate snacks this weekend. We're gonna go deliver the duck plate tomorrow. I'm so excited. And well, now that we found out butter chicken is her favorite, we'll also bring along a butter chicken dish. Woohoo! Okay, so back to the butter chicken. Linked a great recipe that we actually have made before on stream from Cafe Delights is the butter chicken recipe. Good afternoon, FCB. How is work today? Hope you're doing okay. So butter chicken, AKA, what's the Indian name for it? Merg Makani is what it is. Thanks for posting those up, Cookie. So similar to chicken tikka masala, butter chicken is one of the most popular curries at any Indian restaurant around the world aromatic golden chicken pieces in an incredible creamy curry sauce. This butter chicken recipe is one of the best you will try. You will love how easy it is to make in the comfort of your own home, especially if you make it with rice and maybe some naan bread. So we're not making naan bread today. We're doing a little bit, a little bit less carbs as it warms up here. <laughs> not as heavy winter dish anymore. So since we have made this before, like I said, I do know that we have to marinate the chicken first on its own and then we make a sauce and then we marry both things together near the end. Really, really not difficult. And if you've ever wanted to try Indian food before, like this is the dish. I wouldn't recommend honestly anything else. It's not spicy unless you want it to be spicy, but traditionally this is a very mild dish. Yeah, we're getting excited, hey? That's what me and Rando said. It's like, you can feel the warmth of the sun now and you just know it's coming. Good FCB, you're doing great. That is always good to hear. Don't work too hard today, okay? So the chicken marinade, yogurt, garlic, ginger, some Indian spices, a little bit of salt in there. And we'll try and let that sit for as long as possible. You heard the geese yesterday, yeah, right? On our stream or you heard them nearby? And that's also when you know, when the birds are like, just getting a bit of obnoxious, very loud. They're nesting. It's nesting season. That's when you know spring's here. And then, so the sauce that we make for the butter chicken, there's oil, onion, garlic, ginger, some more of the same kind of Indian spices in the marinade. That's why it goes together really nice. And then it is tomato based with just a little bit of cream. Just a little bit of cream so maybe not like the healthiest indian dish we can make but that's why we put roasted cauliflower with it and a nice rice on this side oh they were flying over your place even <laughs> nice view and all the flowers are blooming there hey wilson butter chicken sweet you've been wanting to make this yes i hope that you do after you watch us do it okay so marinate and then I'll just put sauce after that. The sauce doesn't take very long to cook. I think about like half an hour or so. so. Like I said, we want to let the chicken marinate as long as possible with the yogurt and spices to get the most flavor in. And then we'll bring together our sauce. And then bring together the chicken and the sauce. First time Vune ordered butter chicken, he was disappointed that he didn't get a chicken made in butter. <laughs> Right? It's like the name is kind of misleading. And hi, Omdog. Quick, check out my deep fryer. So proud. Okay, back to lurking. <laughs> when your husband sends you photos of a deep fryer, that's when you know it's real. <laughs> okay. This is what you get, chat. This is where Sam started today. That's before he cleaned it. Next one. Very impressive. Look at how clean that is. And then the last one, oh, a 
That's going to make some tasty potato chippies. For sure. It's like new. Leave it to Sam. Yeah, good job. You got all chicken but no rice last time you ordered? Oh, man. You got to watch them, Scarlet, hey? It is hard work, but we do use like a nice non-caustic like grease lift, it's called. With like that little citrusy scent, if you know what I'm talking about, Vium. And so it doesn't hurt your hands, doesn't affect your lungs and like everyone else around you when you use it to clean. So handy. <laughs> yeah, Torino. That's going on Sam's OnlyFans for sure. Okay, let's keep rolling along here. So butter chicken, we know that we have to marinate it first thing. And then we can bring together the sauce literally anytime we want. Next up, I think we should get into maybe prepping the rice up. I feel like for the cashmere rice, so this is something that I, once upon a time, ordered from an Indian spot when we lived in Vancouver, and it like changed my life, pretty much. It's a basmati rice cooked with fruits and nuts of whatever you desire, really. The recipe I linked today, they use cashew and almond nuts, and then they use like quite a few fruits. So they did apple, pomegranate, and grape. I only have apple today. And I think I'm gonna do like maybe an apple hazelnut sort of rice. And then it also has, if you have saffron around, I don't know if we have any more left. So we will maybe sneak some turmeric in instead. Uh, onion, garlic, some spices as well. So it really combines nice with like both the veg and the protein portion of this. Yeah, definitely poison yourself with cleaning products in the past. Oh man. Quick Discord question. Did the way you post a pic change? No. I think you have to link your Twitch account. So that's the only thing that changed. That's the only one that changed. You'll have to go into some settings. Cause yeah, we've been working with this for a couple people, Wilson, and they got it figured out. Like Mary was having issues last week. She got it now. She was able to post. Yeah, sorry about that, that you have to go back and do that. But it will be better cause then you'll get your role in the Discord too, right? So cashmere rice we'll put on there, uh, hazelnut, and then apple. It's also really yummy with like dried fruits, but I don't think I have any. I thought I maybe had dried apricot or cranberry even would be nice. We'll see if I can search some down in here. Okay, carrying on the curry cauliflower. Really, really simple. Uh, we have cauliflower florets already kind of cleaned up for us to start. They've been looking nicer than just like the heads themselves in this store. So we'll take these, cut them a bit smaller so it's more bite size. And then we'll spice it. I have a recipe linked for that as to, for that as well. Uh, we'll do garam masala, a couple other spices to make it really nice and curry. And then uh, oh, 15 minute roast time in the oven for that one. And I'm thinking 425 F, 15, 20 minutes. I do like a little bit of bite on my roasted veggies, not like really soft. And Ralph Sambit, thank you for the six bitlies. I'm loving all of the little bit emotes there. The heart, the shamrock, and what is that? A little peppers. Hi Lauren, yeah, butter chimkin. And prairie mountain goat. Thank you for the follow. Hello. You've been trying to catch your lives for a while and finally am excited for the curry cauliflower. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to ask away any questions if you have them. Okay, and then the last thing, I always like to make a sauce for Indian food, which this is a very typical sauce, cucumber raita. So think like Greek tzatziki sauce, kind of same, same, but different. This one is yogurt based. We will shred up some cucumber and then it's mixed with the yogurt, some herbs and maybe a little bit of lemon. And so really like the earlier we can make the sauce and let it sit together, the better it will actually be. 
So we can maybe sneak that in a bit earlier. Last thing on the list, our pie crust, which I linked the recipe we always use from Sally's Baking Addiction, buttery flaky pie crust, homemade. It uses both butter and lard. It's pretty dang good. We've made it a lot of times here on stream. You figured it out, Wilson? Yay, I'm glad. That makes me happy. Thanks for letting us know too. Tzatziki is refreshing, right? And like, not that anything that we're making today is spicy, but just that creamy sauce just kind of brings everything together really nicely. Holy, okay, I'll check it out. Oh, water just splashed me like on my nose. Perfect start to the day. Thistle and Oak, thank you for the follow. Biggest oysters of his life. Holy golf oysters. And you were having those raw? Was it good? No, lies. It is 73. You tell him, Lauren. You tell him. Yeah, it's nice. It's warm and warming up. We're probably going to get up to 10. I'm in. You didn't eat it raw? Oh no, it was terrible. You should like tell them though. Like maybe those aren't things that they should serve raw. Like it'd be better fried. I don't know. I'm gonna go grab the chicken, uh, ginger, a couple other things. I'll be right back. Chicken, yogurt, ginger. And then we do have to cut up the chimkin. Got some leftover chicken breasts from what, last weekend, as well as tenders. It's gonna be really good. Raw oyster would be an acquired taste. Yeah, you either like it or you hate it. Okay, sounds good, Vion. Enjoy your TV watching. Switch this up. Get this mouse out of here. Let's get a nice big cutting board. You know what? I don't think I need the massive, massive one. I think we'll just go with this. The, the seafood market. I don't know what to tell you. They just brought those. <laughs> Is that an excuse? Is that a heckin' excuse or what? Hi, Scott. How are you? Scott's already hungry. Welcome in, Mary. So good to see everyone just filing in, just grabbing my knife. Like I said, it was a busy morning prepping. So some of the stuff was drying after I washed it up. So we'll cut this into nice chunks for the butter chicken. Don't go too small because it'll shrink and then you don't want it to just like fall apart either. We need a bit of texture. Scat, how's the week? Finishing up work for the day? That's my assumption at least. So boom. So I think we have, what? Only two whole chicken breasts and then literally the rest of this is tenders. I think. Shake it out of here. Oh. One more. Nom. What a good way to use up extra chicken. It's like literally the first thing that came to my mind. So let's just organize this a bit. Put all the tendies over here. I think we might trim it up. The tender, just take off this part, like the connective tissue, because uh, that doesn't really break down at all, even if you cook it. So first thing we'll do is just take the tenders off of these other chicken breasts first. And like, I'm just going to use a chef's knife for this because we're mostly just like cutting, not cleaning too much. And also I know like not everyone has a boning knife. Hello, Venus Tranquility. Day off, dog sitting. It's a good day. I would say so, Scat. That's awesome. I'm actually really happy to hear that you got a day off. Okay, so this will definitely clean off. 
Like, you might find stuff that you want to clean off, so do that for sure. But like I said, shouldn't have to take too much. There we go. Of course, there was, like, one piece, right? Okay. The boning knife. Torino, are you doing better today, my dude? You got that Friday feeling? Gonna do any cooking? Okay, that. Was this one more? Holy! One more still. Alright, let's start with these biggest pieces. So, first we'll start on this small side, right? Like I'm thinking about one inch, one inch cube. So just cut off that little tip since it's so thin down there and then we'll go in half. And then from here, we can cut the chunks. Yum. And then I'm just gonna reuse this to marinate everything in. You'll make it, Torino? I hope so. Just gonna toss some chicken in the pressure cooker with barbecue sauce. Go from there. I like it. That's a great start. Really, really great start. And now I think we brown the chicken before we like make the sauce in the pan. I think we brown up the chicken first just to create the layers of flavor. Just set it aside and then you make the sauce. We'll recheck the recipe. But I think that would be the best way to go about this. And yeah, you might think that it's weird that we're marinating in yogurt but it does help to tenderize the chicken and also keep it moist at the same time. You need one of those? So those are Cambro pans that I used. I'm sponsored by Cambro, which is like a food, food pan company. Like I don't even know what to call them. A food storage and organization company that's really, really popular with restaurants. I think I will actually grab the boning knife just to take off the tendon here. In yogurt, just a plain Greek yogurt. And like, don't go too low fat, minus 2%. I think it's gonna be good, Faye, once we start cooking. Close to tandoori chicken. Really, really close, like how we marinate it, but then we're turning it into butter chicken. Go one more up. Okay, so this little piece here, sticking out of the chicken tender, I usually just hold on to it. Just like cut off the main part of it. And then from here, I think I'll just go in half because they're so delicate. And this is an important step. Otherwise you'd be like picking this out doesn't break down unless I guess you love like chewy chicken things but I don't yeah it's gonna get real fragrant in here anyone else cooking today or what you eating What's on the menu? You may cook this. You want to read the recipe, Mary? This is an easy one, Wilson. And so dang good. Okay, this tender is a bit larger. We'll cut it into three. Crab cakes, nice cookie. That's awesome. And then like, if you see a a membrane like that, you can clean off the tender as well. Did you make the crab cakes or is it like a pre-done thing? I'm always interested to like the different products out there. You had a tooth pulled? Ooh, sorry to hear that. 
hope they gave you good pain meds, Venus. And that everything goes good for the healing part. The dentist can be a fickle place for some people. Eating a fresh chocolate chunk cookie, Mary. Mary's already made cookies today? Nom. This is an Indian dish, yes. Haven't eaten yet today, Lauren. But you have had some coffee. And then, Lauren, what did you end up cooking yesterday? After the sneaky feta stream. <laughs> that was so fun, by the way. Okay, that's, I'm gonna leave, get into here. Nice. You're gonna whip up some taco beef and pork. And then who do we got here? CBD, CBN, hello, how are you? Happy Friday. We got emotes on emotes. I'm in. You didn't even cook it. You just got fed it to make me smile. I love it. Streamers, I tell ya. The things that we do. Well, I will say, Lauren, our community is very proud. The tendon that I'm like trying to grab is actually so dang slippery. We're almost there. Ate really late last night. So yeah, you didn't want it to be heavy. That's always a smart thing to do. Otherwise your like body is just struggling to try and go to bed. A frozen meal that was with zucchini and chicken. Sounds really nice and healthy. And yeah, you always got to make sure that like you replenish the energy from your body if you go on a big hike or something like you did. Nice one, Lauren. And yeah, if you've never had a real feta, like guys, Elsie Weens. Yesterday, she, we caught a stream. She was finding feta in the grocery store. We guided her to buy one like straight from Greece and make sure that it was like sheep and goat, not just cow's milk. Cause I find that it's so dang salty, the ones that they make in North America. I'm very excited for you to try it cause it won't be like any other feta you've had. I still remember the first time in the restaurant when I was like, pleasantly surprised about how good like <laughs> real feta is yeah a feta hunt if you will <laughs> okay that is that oh dropped a little bit on the board just scrape this stuff up if you have like a stock bag that you keep for making different stocks at home this one would have been chicken right Definitely pop that in there. I'm just gonna go rinse this stuff up, wash my knife so that I can chop some things next. There's our chimkin pieces. Looks yummy. Make a salad tonight, post a photo. I would love that. Can someone enter the stream in the chat? Huh? You're looking for streams. I would suggest the browse section of Twitch. Do 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 This is one of my favorite meals. Yes, it heckin' is. Oh, also I started taking like omega-3 fish oils again this week, and my brain is thanking me for it. I feel like I've leveled up. 
It's actually amazing. Okay. Just gotta get my disinfectant on here. Dry this off. Said I saw a shopping haul? Oh, on Lauren's. <laughs> Thanks. I was like, what is this? What are we talking about? I got lost. Okay, give me a sec. I also have a quick coffee bathroom break. I'm sorry. Okay, we ready, Freddy. Yahoo! Let's read up the recipe a bit. Yeah, you have the steak tonight, Lauren. Tried searching for crafting streamers and everyone was playing the same awful music. Huh. Well, I know that a lot of people kind of use the same music on Twitch just so that it's DMCA free. Sad to say. So yeah, you might see a little repeat in some streams. Like I use stream beats. Right now from Harris Heller. Just cause we really like that. And yeah, I've noticed in a couple other streams that I watch that same songs. So we got our chicken breast cut into bite-sized pieces. I would say like an inch is nice. It will shrink up just a bit too. And then we need yogurt, garlic, and ginger. We got yogurt, ginger. I will grab the garlic. We literally just have enough. I had like four heads of garlic that sprouted. Ask me how I feel about that. I was so sad this morning. So we're gonna make do the best we can here. We need to save some for the sauce as well. Oh, like video game music? Well, yeah, like I guess that's what they like, right? Yeah, then there's garlic in the sauce. So, why don't we do that for the marinade? And then I'll just use some like dry granulated garlic just to make up the extra little bit that we need there. Sam's gonna get some more fresh garlic for us on the way home. And then we need garam masala, turmeric, cumin, red chili powder, and salt. These are like pretty typical Indian spices. Cumin. Turmeric's over here. Nom. Boom. 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 I think we're opening the fresh bag of cashmere chilies this week. Yeah. I've never used this stuff yet. Is anyone else? I'm really excited to try this. It's like an Indian style of chili powder. 
You can't hear mine? I usually have it set at the same level every time. Like just a little background music, right? How long can you leave a bag of chicken scraps before you make broth? Yeah, like a couple days. I would definitely not push it more than a week, Wilson. It's really hot. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna put too much, but I will like to use it for the color, right? Okay, so that's it, other than the salt, which we'll bring over and I'll probably pop some like ground black pepper in too. Move this over. Let's start with the garlic and the ginger, since that's what's gonna take the longest. And we'll go from here. Overwhelmingly hot? What? It does say hot chilies ground, so we'll try it. We'll try it out before we use it. Thanks for letting me know as well. Always helpful if someone is familiar with an ingredient that I'm not. Yeah, real Indian food is like super spicy, just like real Thai food, right? It'll blow your face off. <laughs> and for them, it's like not even spicy. We're a bunch of wimps. I'm just picking out where it sprouted, just so it's not bitter. And then yeah, don't let me forget to get a little bit of dried garlic. Use a pinky finger to try it for sure, Mary. A very small amount. And like, I'd rather put it just on the chicken than all throughout the sauce. Cause then that might overwhelm the palate. The sauce should almost like cool it off, right? You've never had real Thai food? Ooh, it will light up your life. Like I usually have to get mild or medium at Thai spots just because yeah, they don't hold back, let's say. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice up the garlic for the chicken, really nice and thin. Cause I like the chunkies. And we're literally just gonna mix everything together in this container. Yeah, the spice flavor is amazing, right? Always using the fresh different chilies, red, green. Like there are places in Thailand that I have been where like as you're waiting for your food to be cooked, which literally doesn't take that long anyways, they will just come by the table and put a plate full of green chilies down in front of you. It's like, here's your appetizer. <laughs> I'm like, if I ate that before my meal, I wouldn't taste anything. I'm like, this is so impressive. Real Mexican food. Yeah, it can be pretty spicy too. Definitely not wrong saying that. Okay, just gonna rinse my sticky garlic hands here. Yeah, it's not just hot for the sake of being spicy. Like they do a very nice job trying to balance out all of the flavors. Right, Paloozer, and hi, hi, as well as Kermit. Good to see you all. Okay, ginger time. We got this little nubbin that I think we'll just pop on the microplane. And then we also have this to use up if we want more. So let's just try and peel this up the best we can. Bring over the microplane. I always like to use the back of the spoon to peel up the ginger. And then if you see like parts like that, usually I just cut, cut or trim it off. Got a little boo-boo. from that part too, where we last were grating it. And yeah, then I just take the spoon, go along. We'll use a, as much of this one up as we can. And we can get into the other piece if we need. OK, 
Okay, so we're making six portions of this today. So that's that. That way we don't waste too much of the actual ginger trying to peel it. And now from here, just move this stuff over for now. Actually, we can get the knife out too. I'm just gonna bring the chicken over, put the microplane down on here and start grating right over this. If you see the ginger butthole, just cut it right off, okay? Yeah, if like the babies, if the kids are eating the cuisine, like, you know they grew up with that. <laughs> Great job. Hey, thanks, Lauren. <laughs> First pun of the day, thank you. Hi, hi, Cheese. So good to see you. How are you doing? We have already talked about you once today. Pertaining to Mrs. Ruby's recreation of your Detroit style pizza dough, but in sourdough form. I'm pumped, oh no. It touched the chimkin. <laughs> Good thing it's all going to the same place. Yeah, what did I do now, Cheese says. We all got pumped. Spreading the deliciousness. One stream at a time. Just keep grating, you can like, tap it off. Look at the hairs though. Like this is what we're trying to stop happening. So this does a really good job of cutting those fibers up. Yeah, like she created her own recipe off of yours. That's so dang cool. You were watching her stream a bit? Yes. Yeah, I usually don't get to catch it just because Fridays are like quite busy for me in the morning, just catching up after working all week. But I always like hearing what they make if they come in for a raid. We're honored. Okay, we're almost there. For this sauce, we're just gonna mince up the ginge. We'll just cut it a pretty small because the sauce can cook and simmer a bit. So those chunks will break down. Whereas this, we wanna be able to distribute the ginger flavor as much as possible on the chicken. Carowen, oh no, Luthien, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, and happy Friday. Finally made some sour or some dough yesterday. My dude, it's been over 15 days since you made a pizza. Is everything okay though? You're just taking a little break? Sometimes it's good to do that though. Just like take a step back, maybe reassess a bit. Hello there, friend. How are you? Just busy with moving. Oh, word. So you're the next one. <laughs> There's been so many food and drink streamers that have moved this year. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I think we're good because we're getting close to the ginger butt anyways. That's our stopping point. Doesn't really seem like we're grating much more. Yeah, moving. Coming close to the end though, that's good, cheese. You're almost there. Okay, and then we'll scrape this stuff out. That was the hard part of the marinade. Tap, 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 -roo. Old place is close to empty. Is the ginger end no good? Yeah, that one has been like sitting around for a bit. So that one, not good. Old place, yeah, close to empty. Boxes galore at the new one. The box for it, the classic. We're no stranger to that either. Just gonna rinse the microplane out so the ginger doesn't get stuck and dried on. Cause those little hairs will do that. And then it's hard to clean. Next up, we'll pop some yogurt in, as well as maybe our pinch of salt and then the spices. Mix it on up. The recipe says minimum 30 minutes for the marinade, but we'll probably go closer to one hour. Ket or Kelboop, 
Hellboop, thank you for the follow. <laughs> she said her pizza had no sauce. Well, Detroit style, you do the sauce on the side after it's baked. So maybe that's the difference. Our plain Greek yogurt. We'll give this a stir. Nice. That's a big tub. I think we'll be having some yogurt fruit bowls coming up here. <laughs> yogurt granola bowls. But we are also going to use some of this today for the creamy cucumber sauce. Creamy cucumber herb sauce. Let's go boop. Just want to clean this up the edge. And boop. And maybe one more. This is already smelling right. Just the yogurt, ginger, and garlic. Okay, maybe one one more. That should do it. Now we're done with that. Hi, Chef Peanut. That's a boop from Kel Boop. And hi, Deep True. Yum. Lemon ricotta. Yes, please. I thought Detroit style was like Little Caesars deep dish. Let's just say Little Caesars is trying to be Detroit style in a simple way. How are you on this Aloha Friday? No work till Monday. Yahoo! I'm doing really good. Yeah, hope the same for you. The sun is shining here. Literally can't complain. Does anyone know how to sub with Prime from an iPhone? I think it's actually not possible, sad to say. So these are our main spices. Optional. Indian hot chilies. Let's also do a little, little crack of black pepper before we start and a sprinkle of salt just to get the chicken a bit seasoned through as well as it sits with all of the flavors yeah so good hey deep true we were all craving it and i had chicken breast to use up so i was like it's been decided this is it it's a butter chimkin kind of day Little Caesars is a Detroit pizza company, but their take on this style is bad. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, cheese. It's like close, right? But like, I don't see a chain restaurant like that put in the sauce on the side. It just doesn't make sense for them for ease of preparation. Do we think we need a bit more garlic? I'll just put a little sprinkle of this on. Like I said, I'd rather sprinkle this over the chicken rather than use it in the sauce. If you're making a sauce, always try and use fresh as much as possible. I'm only doing that because we're a little low. And now all of the other flavorings, so turmeric, cumin, seed, and garam masala. What do we need for that? Couple teaspoons of each, and then only a teaspoon of the turmeric because it's quite strong. And like mostly just for color. Grab a little spoon. Did we make it? No, I didn't, sad to say. I bought this one from like the bulk barn. It's really good though. A little sprinkle with this. And then this also gets used in the cauliflower later i think we might leave it out of the rice just so like not everything tastes like garam masala the cumin next yum you have 70 fahrenheit and sunny weasel holy wipe the spoon one more time this one. Woohoo! And this is so good for you too. The turmeric. Now let's get rid of this spoon because this will literally stain everything. 
It is a dangerous space. Your clothes, towels, cutting boards, countertops, basically everything. Open this up and we'll try it. A teaspoon, yeah. Aw, oh, man, cheese, that sucks. Yeah, like, wow. The color of that? Okay. That's my little pinky pester. It is really spicy. Holy. Okay, I can't use that because we'll kill Finn. I did not expect it to be that hot. Let me also just go wash my hands. Wow. That is powerful. That'd be really good in like a kimchi though. Whee wee. It's lit. Venus was not lying. It's like a nice kind of florally flavor though. And doesn't build up too much in heat. But it does linger. It does linger. Which is why I know it's gonna destroy my sister-in-law if we use it. So we won't use that. And kind of like a refreshing spice. Like it's, now it's kind of cooling off my palate. You know how they say like eat spicy food when it's hot out because it'll cool you off? Yeah, I'm getting like that vibe. It's like pepper spray. No, not that bad. Not that bad. And I mean, like, the butter sauce would calm down the spice a bit. But yeah, Finn is so sensitive that I just don't want to push it. So now we can just mix this up. We're good. Just mix it with the spoon. Just try not to, like, mush the chicken too much. And we got to let this sit minimum 30 minutes. I think you could go like up to overnight for sure. That'd be the best. This is smelling right. So yeah, basically we are making like a tandoori chicken right now. And then turn it into butter chicken. Yum. Making me salivate a bit too. If you haven't tried pepper spray, I recommend it once. I never have. I think Sam has though. In his like, uh, his first year of the military training basic. I feel like he has. The tip of my tongue is still burning just so everyone is like aware of this. Cashmere chilies are not mild, even though they look very inviting. <laughs> and then we'll just push this down in one layer, just so it marinates the most evenly. Okay. And we can just put a lid on that and then back in the fridge. Yeah, in a closed room, there are no winners when pepper spray is sprayed. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, if someone like blew the chili powder in your face, woo, whoa, that would be a bit much. Okay. One time you made a pot of chili since you didn't have chili powder, you sub cashmere. <laughs> oh no, cheese. I'm sorry for laughing, but I could see that happening to me too. It's like, we'll just use this. Let's just say no one could eat the chili and even had a hard time with it. Like even you, yeah. So you make your own hot sauces, stuff like that. This is true Ralph, Ralph with the guidance. Try drinking some milk or have something sweet after you eat something spicy. It does help just that little bit, right? I mean, might have to get into the coffee Hagen Dawes. I don't know. I don't think it's quite crisis mode though. 
Reminds you of washing the red chili pots at the place up the mountain. Hot water would hit it. Yeah, mace for sure. Okay, next one. I guess we can get the sauce stuff together. We can do that since we're on the butter chicken train. Even measure out the cream, everything. So it's like all the same ingredients and then I can put most of them away actually. Do, 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 do. Let's go on to the list. Marinate chicken. It was one o'clock when we marinated the chicken. I'm gonna put that time actually. See how long it actually goes for. So next up, the sauce. You didn't even make it through the whole bowl and then I can't even imagine the next day. Yeah, I love chat. Pro tips about survival skills, always marry. <laughs> yeah, Venus. That is the backup pepper spray. Curry cauliflower sounds great. What spices are we using? So the recipe I have linked, it is called Easy Curry Roasted Cauliflower. They do garam masala, chili flakes, and some cardamom on there. That sounds yummy. And then I also do have like a little uh, yellow curry powder, which I was thinking of sneaking in because it's a really nice one. Like it's really well done. You can see the little pieces of all the spices in there. It's got a nice sweetness to it. <laughs> Multi-purpose cooking show here. You can learn how to bake a ham and also fix a tractor. Here we go. <laughs> I actually love it. <laughs> okay, so for the sauce. Oh, also, hi, Carowen. Looks nice, you're curious. Do you prepare lunch right now? Uh, yeah, so like it is one o'clock p.m. here where I live. So more like a late lunch, early dinner. We usually eat anywhere from like 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, time to prepare din, but unfortunately no Indian foods. Maybe this weekend. Yeah, so that's why we stream, to be some inspiration for cooking on the weekend. <laughs> RFC, how are you? Where did we get the glass jars with a gasket? Those are from the grocery store here. So the same place that we like get our groceries, save on foods. Like way, way, way back when they had these jars available to buy in like 12 packs. I think we were in Vancouver when we got them. And yeah, I was like, that's the greatest for organizing the spices. I'm sure though, if you looked online, you could find them. Might try to cook some bow tie chicken pasta tomorrow or Sunday. Beautiful. Thanks, Paloozer. Paloozer is the best internet Googler human if you ever need anything. Michaels. Good one, Wilson. Yep. That is one that I wouldn't have thought of. Okay, so we need to dice up an onion. Slice up some more garlic, mince our ginger, and then once again, we need cumin, garam masala. We're gonna add some coriander now for the sauce. And I think actually we have to toast the coriander and blitz it up. So I always buy the spice seeds whole and then only toast them fresh and like grind it fresh kind of as we go through it a little bit at a time. That way they taste the best always too. Okay, let's get started. Just keep prepping. And then from here, we'll get into the cashmere rice with hazelnut and apple. One onion. I'm gonna take the worst looking one in the bag. <laughs> we'll cut this nice and fine. It's gonna be a, a difficult one to peel. It's gonna be like that. I see. <laughs> I 
I hate when it does that. It's like, please, why are you doing this to me? Sometimes you can like get your knife under and it might come off in one big piece. But I don't like when it like goes under your fingernail, it hurts so bad. I guess we could have just peeled off this whole piece, but I would rather try and use as much onion. So I'm just gonna trim off that first layer where it's like dry. Boom, we got it. Onions this week at the store were massive and like lately here, they've been super small like this or even smaller were the ones I used at work yesterday. I was like, what is this? So Weasel's store has all of the big onions noted. <laughs> There's that. Might as well peel the garlic since we got peels on the board right now. Anyways, yeah, Palooza, this one we're not using. Someone knocked over the bottle of Miracle Grow. And thus, we have extra large onions. What you doing? How's it going? Cheesies, hello. I'm cooking. What are you doing and how's it going? Now we're gonna go, go, go. We're cooking some Indian food today. Making a nice butter chicken plate for myself, my fam, and even some friends. Completely shocked to get some Walmart tomatoes that actually tasted vaguely like a tomato. Pleasantly surprised we can say Palooza, love that. That little piece we'll take care of after. Whoa, and if it wants to do that, just let it. It will happen. Do one last slice here, and we'll let it fall over. So commingle all of these pieces that got cut nice. Move it over. Is this one okay? Barely. Might have been a psychosomatic as you sniff the vine too, yeah. Because the vine is such a good smell. Your body's like, it's close enough to a real tomato. We got a sharp knife, yes! One thing that we learn in our trade, basically, first thing, a sharp knife will always save your fingers. Better than a doll knife. It's like any trade, right? You always want the best tools to do the job. And we always try and use up as much of our ingredients as possible as well. Now we can do the other half. Hey, thanks, Cookie. Thanks for posting the link to the knife. I think we'll take a little bit of this away for the rice you fry a little bit of onion for the rice coming up. And this will be more than enough for the butter chicken sauce. Okay, so this is like basically falling apart already. Uh, 
that. Just rough chop these ends that are kind of weird shapes and stuff. Do your best, forget the rest. As long as it's all roughly the same size, we're good. This is the onion butt, what I call, or like the root end. That doesn't really break down in cooking, so usually I just get rid of that little piece. The rest though, all usable. Okay, so I'll ask now, since we got a bunch of people in here with us, who in chat has either eaten butter chicken before, or maybe you've even made it for yourself. Okay, so next up the garlic. I'm just gonna thinly slice that. And then we're gonna put the garlic and ginger together and keep the onion separate. The onion gets cooked first. Eaten, not made it, Kel. Love it, yeah, right? It's pretty rewarding to make for yourself. And like not too much prep. Next up is some more ginger. Show you how I like to cut up ginger. And I'll get a couple containers to put this into as well. Had a lot more tikka masala in your life than butter chicken. But yeah, you like it just as much. You've made it, Cassius. Nice. Okay, so I'll get this. That for the onion. Also one more small one. Remember I said I was gonna take some away for the rice. Not much. Really don't need much. Let's go like that. That will be more than enough. So I'll just put that aside for the rice and we'll fry up that onion later. Now let's put the garlic into here. Start organizing ourselves for cooking later. This is called mise en place. We're getting everything in its place so that when we are ready to cook everything, it's all prepped up and organized. That's a really, really important one for getting better at cooking in the kitchen. Hi, Greek. How are you? Good to see you. Happy Friday as well. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna rinse my hand. It's kind of sticky. Ralph has never tried butter chicken, but if you remember correctly, you had chicken tandoori in the Bahamas. Your friends took you to an Indian restaurant. There you go. So very similar then. It's like the chicken that we're making just without the sauce. You don't know what's up with video or audio, but at least you have the chat. Okay, I was gonna say like no one else let me know that there's issues on our side. So hopefully we're okay. Okay, more ginge. We can just peel this, just like that. We will trim off this nub and those ones. And so we'll peel it and then cut it. One more spoon. There you go. Just keeps buffering, that's weird. basically do that whole piece. Beautiful. Take that off. Okay, worked so good. Like waste no ginger doing that. Okay, so now you just come here, cut that, put the other piece back in the bag. 
As a native Swedish speaker, you once saw empty head in a translated Russian restaurant's menu. Is that a common word for the the vegetable in USA? I've not heard that before ever, Frank. Like you're saying for ginger? Dang, Greek. Maybe something funky happening in Vancouver. So now we can either put this on the flat end and cut down this way or be very careful and do slices this way. I think I might try this. And so really thin slices of the ginger and you can kind of like stack them together as you slice because it'll help us to dice it next until maybe we get to this point. Now it kind of feels like it wants to fall over. So we will let it pop that back together. And then we can just go like that. There we go. Pretty nice piles. And then we do even thinner slices next make like little batons. And then from there, we turn it to the side and we can dice it. Oh, for cauliflower, it was called an empty head. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Has anyone else? And this is how I mince my ginger. Always fun mince and ginger. Hi, Bonk. Good to see you. Spicy butter chicken. We're not going to make it spicy because we don't kill Finn. We tried the cashmere chilies, but it will, it will just light us up too much. But if you can make that for yourself, Daff, I would go for it. Okay, so just take a little bit of this at a time. Come back across. I actually don't mind mincing ginger. It's kind of a fun challenge. And then that goes in with the garlic. GF and you had butter chicken earlier this week, courtesy of Trader Joe's. Nice. Was it yummy? I see great minds think alike then. And yeah, right now we're like, kind of have to press hard to get through those fibers in the ginger and keep like nice nice cubes minced up. That's why sometimes I go slower. There we go. We got our onion, ginger, and garlic prepped for our butter chicken sauce. Rinse this up. It was good, Bonk. That's good. She didn't expect the heat. Oh, you had a spicy one. Holy. Yeah, usually it should be pretty mild, right? Dang. A little spicy surprise, if you will. Okay, so I'm not going to measure out... Uh, actually, I guess we can. We can measure all the spices into a small container, too. Garam masala, cumin... Oh, that's the next one we actually have to do. Toast up some of the coriander. That's what we're rolling into. Get a little pan. We need some coriander seed. You can just put that to the side for now. Put our salt and pepper back. So we'll do this on the induction because it'll go the quickest for heating up. Yay! Audio and video is back for Greek. 
This is good, good news. It was mild for you, Bonk. So the GF has a little bit of a sensitive palate to spice. And I mean, like, that's okay. Everyone's different. Hi, Greek. Yeah, I'm doing so good today. Had a great week. Feel like I'm like finally adjusted to the sleep schedule. Got up at 4.45 and I was just ready to go. Okay, so yeah, we'll go kind of low temp on this because we don't want to burn. I know this says oregano, but it actually is coriander. So there's our coriander seed. Pour that in. One even layer. And then basically we let this toast until we kind of see some smoke coming off. And then from there, we put it into either a food processor or a blender and make it into a powder. While we're here, I'm gonna measure out our cream that we need for the sauce while we wait. Okay, had to change your VPN. Yahoo! Her dad likes super spicy stuff. Just made your GF eat too much of it. That is fair. And yes, this smell so good. I think they said a cup, a cup of whipping cream or like heavy cream. Yes. And then I will ask this, has anyone done butter chicken with coconut milk? Almost like a dairy free. Mm. I can already smell it. I feel like that'd be yummy. Add a can of coconut milk to this too. Yeah, coriander toast and one of the best smells ever. And then also while we wait, we can open up the can of tomato. Sam got some San Marzano's for us. I think we'll only need one. Oh, I should have put the yogurt back. Give this a little swish just to keep it toasting even. Holy. Mm. Mm. I can see like this is one of my favorite smells too. We're going to leave the gin joke because I feel like we might need it for the rice. The onion is trying to make my nose run. It's Friday. Thinking about using Greek yogurt instead of heavy cream. It'd be nice and thick, that's for sure. This is almost there. So I use my dry container for the blender. And that's what it's meant for. So boom. Those will get poured into here. This is coriander seed. And then we'll take the induction away. Open up our tomatoes next. And just keep rolling. So, so nom. I always feel good after eating Indian food too. <laughs> Even when I eat too much. <laughs> yeah, this smells, it's like roasty, citrusy, kind of like acidic, sweet. It smells so numb. Okay, got our tomatoes, so we'll have to crush these up ourselves. Hi, Vicky. Thank you, friend, for this seven month resub. How was your week? Yeah, if you taste it before toasting and then after, you will notice a big difference for sure. Thank you, thank you, Vicky. Almost there. 
Yeah, kind of floral. Good one. Yeah, chicken wing. Haven't heard that song all week. It's good to hear it again. Greek, I bet your wife has such a good recipe for this, hey? I'm gonna go like 30 more seconds and then this is good. Do I ever listen to Chicken Attack? No, I don't know what that is. Vicky, you're busy, even though you're off for spring break. Nice. Yeah, what? We have spring break at the end of this month coming up. It might be next week actually for the schools, but I think I'll still be going to work. I think I'll still be going to work -y. I'll just help out somewhere else. Hi, Hell Quinn. How are you? Okay, I'm just going to turn off the induction. Careful. Pour it into here. Let it cool off a moment before we blend it. Otherwise, I find the steam. The steam really makes it like clump up in the blender. that keep my hot cloth here what do we feel for the rice i think i'll prep the apple and the nuts first so let's just put the induction away for now set up the blender <laughs> yeah almost like the taste when you buy the old el paso it's the taco mix I find cumin is more similar to that though. That just might be my palate. We can measure out our rice while we're waiting for this to cool. <laughs> yeah, Greek's wife. <laughs> Keeps the recipes under lock and key. Even he doesn't even know them. So then even your daughter is not allowed to tell you then, hey, Greek? That's wild. Okay, should we cook two cups of rice, I think, basmati. Grab the hazelnuts. Hazelnuts from the freezer. Yeah, I think that'll be the best one. I also have macadamia nuts and like almond slices, but I think I wanna do this. Yum. That with the apple should combine nicely. Okay, put that by the rice prep. Okay, I think this is good now. Pop that on, pop the lid on. It might be a little bit loud when we start this, just getting the seeds blitzed up. So just watch your headphones if you're wearing them. your headphones okay <laughs> okay see you Bree. thanks for popping by Turn that off, give it a little tap -a -roo. Take care, Greek. And yeah, we'll talk to you tomorrow, I'm sure. Pack the lid too, cause you can see it like flies up. Mmm. 
Smells like lime almost. So that's how she turns out. Just want to make sure that you don't see like any whole, whole seeds left in there. We're good. So now we just got a little funnel and we can put it back in the container it was in. This is how I do my spices. Same thing I do with cumin as well. around the bottom of the blade. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Tap that. Beautiful. Sophie's sharing the warm again. Been laying in window all morning. Came over, flopped in the lap. <laughs> so cute, Palooser. She's like, I give you warmth. Warmth and affection. Yeah, toasting the coriander is key. Greeks, like, just so you guys know. <laughs> it does help it blitz up even better. Toasting it kind of dries it out. It's good. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, so next one, we'll get the rice going, I think, just with the little burner set beside me over here. And that way we can chop up the apple, the hazelnuts. Get some other flavorings ready for it. Keep working along. We put the chicken in the marinade at 1 p.m. our time. It's already been 35 minutes, so that's the minimum amount that it should marinate. Get a medium pot. Twitch is sure pushing a lot of ads these days. Yeah, like we have ours set at the lowest setting, but I did read up like we were talking yesterday on the IRL stream. Is they're actually planning to ramp up more, sad to say. So there's that, I guess. Okay, we'll just do this like this for now. Turn on the pot. Wait. Let me just read the recipe. I'm just gonna see this, if we actually cook the onion and the spices first and then put the rice into there. I haven't made this in a while, so let me see. Yeah, I never drained the rice. The ghee, so they fry the nuts. And then they fry the spices and add the rice, okay and then add the water. And then while it is boiling, they fry some onions, but we'll do that first and put it in the rice. And then near the end, like the last kind of five minutes is when we put in the fruits and the nuts actually into the rice. So yeah, we got our onion ready. Our rice is here measured, good to go. Boom, boom, boom. And then what, the only thing we have to quickly toast up in the oil is just our hazelnuts. Pop this on here safely. Yeah. Oh, the little bottom banner ads. I've never even like seen those on my stream. I've seen them on Graham's before. Do like a cup, a cup of hazelnuts, and then we'll chop them up before we fry them in the oil. <laughs> Gotta pay for the rocket fuel. What a world we're living in. Just a wee chopper. You decide how finely you want this chopped up. I really like the crunch it adds to the rice. Just a little something extra.
And they say you can use ghee, which is like clarified butter or oil, up to you. Little bit more. Always toast your spices, seeds, and nuts. This is one thing we learned today. Still a couple whole ones. They are evading the blade. Bam, we're good. I think the onion's trying to make me cry a bit. I brought it closer to me. Hi, Vyun. Did you have good movies? Oops. Don't brush the nuts on the ground. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I'm gonna start it like this and then once the nuts are in the pot, I'll turn it to the bigger view. Let's go like kind of high heat for the oil. And then I'm going to do some grapeseed oil, not olive oil. We're watching the show Castle. It's such good fun. Is it like a comedy? I've never heard of it before. Let's also get a spoon. I'm going to choose this one just for its slots in the shape to scoop out the nuts. And then we need a container to put the fried nuts into. It's a crime comedy romance. Cool. I guess we could also do this. Do, 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 do. Transferring. Also a bay leaf goes into the rice, so I'll make sure I grab that. I think maybe cinnamon stick. Nathan Fillion stars in it. I feel like I've heard that name before, but the face is not coming to me. Bay leaf. Cinnamon, I might do a little bit of it only. Because it is very large. Ever watch Firefly? No, not even that one. <laughs> I am the worst for like shows and movies. Canadian American actor. Captain Malcolm on Firefly. Richard Castle on Castle, starring as John Nolan on The Rookie. Yeah, I've heard of that person. Don't know if I've ever seen them before. Oh yes, cardamom as well in here. Yum. So just like slightly different flavor then in the rice compared to everything else. It's nice to like use these spices as well. And, and I did see saffron. This is amazing. We can make some saffron rice. And I think what they do is actually like pop it in some milk or just a little bit of warm water to bloom it. Yeah. It hasn't even been open yet. How do we open it? This is the question. <laughs> Hello? Oh, maybe that's how I knew him, because I have seen Suicide Squad. Is this a lid? Guys, we got saffron, but there's no way to get into it. Is it a slider? I feel like it might be a slide. Just gotta break this seal. I actually have no idea. 
It's a saffron, yeah, the safest. Safest saffron ever. Okay, I got the sticker off. If anyone wants to send help, I will gladly accept it now. I don't even see anything in the container to open. Oh! I got it! I knew that there's a reason that I didn't cut my nails. I got it! And I think this oil is nice and hot. So really, it should get open this way then. Yeah, like lots of people are getting rid of cable, right? So there she is. Literally the stamen of flowers. I think each flower has four of those. So yeah, you can imagine the effort it takes to just get a bit of saffron. Okay, yeah, this is smoking. This is smoking. Let's pour these in. It will not take long to fry them. Golden brown. Roasted, toasted, delish. So they're sizzling. Make sure they're in one even layer. And well, don't burn them. Don't burn the nuts. After these, we'll do the onion. Yeah, that is a lot of saffron, hey, view. I know Sam just picked this up not long ago. The email, the saffron company at gmail.com since 1874. It's like basically when Canada became a country. People have been exporting saffron forever. That is wild. That is wild. go over more. Yeah. July 1st, 1867. Canada Day. We're getting there. Obviously the small pieces are gonna toast quicker, so keep your eye on it. I'm gonna have a sip of water. You know what else would be yummy in here in place of like the apples or just an addition? Dates. Dates would be delicious. Okay, very, very close. I'm just stirring it to make sure that it's toasting evenly. We are moments away here. See how they're getting nice and toasted? And they're kind of popping too. So now just turn that off so you don't burn anything. I'm gonna actually switch it over to the other side now off of the burner. Scoop that, drain, drain as much oil as we can. Try and get all the nuts out because we are gonna keep cooking in here in the pot, onions next. But whoa, we're gonna cook the onion in like hazelnut oil, okay. Those are good. So next, we'll push this back over. Just keep going. Turn it back on to like three and a half, four. That's what we want to hear. Just use this same spoon. Let that fry. 
add in our spices momentarily. I'm just gonna add the saffron to that. So saffron, cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaf, and we'll do a little bit of turmeric as well. That's it though. Oh, we got steamed up, sorry. Got too excited. Too dang excited. And yeah, smell, very good bonk. Very nutty, especially after the coriander toasting too. We'll let this get golden brown and delicious. Build up the flavors. Get him one more little spoon for us to measure the spices. Yeah, smell a vision for this, Vicky. Would be lovely. This isn't even the good stuff yet. Just wait until we start making the butter chicken and the sauce. Insane. Where you live, it was officially founded on May 28, 1828. Whoa! Even older than Canada as a country. That's cool. A bicentennial, very nice. So we only wanna to toast the spices for about 30 seconds to a minute before we add the rice. So make sure your onion's like really good to go. Don't have to cook it too much more. So we'll do like a teaspoon of turmeric. Do a couple, couple pops of cardamom. And this is the green cardamom, I believe. Look at that already changing color. A few bay leaves. Don't make them too small. Otherwise they might get lost in the rice and we don't want someone to eat that by accident. I'm gonna pinch off a bit of this cinnamon stick or maybe even just break it, perfect. I choose cinnamon stick in here instead of ground. Cause I find ground cinnamon, it just makes things almost taste too sweet on its own. Disperses throughout too much. So the cinnamon stick, you can control the flavor a bit more. Yum. Is it smelling amazing in here? Yes, yes it is. And then a little pinch of this, cause we can. I mean, it's just gonna sit there if we don't, so yeah. Like try and get like maybe six, seven little stamens. And as the rice cooks, that will disperse throughout the color and the flavor. Whoa, add our rice. This is insane, guys. I'll go grab some water now. But this is all coated. And adding the rice in like helps the spices from burning. So let that toast. It'll kind of sizzle a bit. It's exactly what we want. And now we'll need a liter of water. So every two cups of rice kernel, we need four cups. It's a two to one. We're doing really good guys. And so after the rice is done, we'll move on to the butter chicken and the sauce, and then the cauliflower will be nice and quick. We got this. You wanna always make sure that you have a lid for the rice. I'm just gonna give this one more stir. I'm gonna take a really quick bathroom break while this is toasting out. 
a good time for me to do it. BRB. Okay, back. Perfect. Now I'm gonna crank the heat up to five since we're almost ready to add our water. So we want a really, really like heavy sizzle when we add the water in. So let's scrape this spoon off too. Get all the goodness in the pot. Just keep the spoon to the side because we can use that again later. Wash my finger really quick to get the turmeric off, otherwise it will stain. Wonder which ancient tribe was the first to chew on cinnamon bark and go, hey, this tastes sweet. Yeah, right? It's like, whoa. Those were the days. A lot of discoveries back then. A lot of interesting things. Like kudos to all those people who weren't scared to try things. Okay, I hear sizzles. Sorry, my hair is just pulling. I redid my ponytail while I was in there. The Brits aren't that fond of cinnamon. Yeah, the people had to be punished, right? Like RIP to the people that had the poisons. But now we all know. Okay. It's got stuff to say today. Done though. We'll pop the lid on while this is coming up to a simmer. Done with this. Done with this. And so now I'm going to just turn this to the side and we'll dice up our apple next. Yes, I did get it. Thank you very much for that, Ralph. The Filipino meatloaf. Yeah, thank you for sharing that in our Discord. It's so handy. So many recipes like tried and true. So I have two green apples to dice up. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I'll only go with one. Should be more than enough. <laughs> Was that crazy, Wilson? Pouring in the liquid for the rice. It is kind of crazy, I guess. It's so satisfying though, that sizzle. The rich and the powerful in the Middle Ages and further back had people taste their food for them. Oh, that is true. I could see that. So, not two small pieces of apple. Don't go too small, because then it'll just fall apart and get soggy. It's actually supposed to be like a little bit crunchy. So we do that, and then we'll come along. Do nice thin slices to match the other ones. And then from here, I usually just take off these ends, cut them on their own, and then we can divide that in two again. Like that. Okay. 
Yeah, I wonder how many like new food discoveries are happening on the daily. Probably not nearly as much as before, right? Okay. And then if you cut your apple too early, it will like oxidize. So it'll start to turn brown on you. So try not to cut this up too, too early before you add it to the rice. Uh, if you do want to have it prepped early though, you can always just do a little squeeze of lemon juice over it and that will stop the oxidization or the browning. Okay, it looks like the rice is almost up to a simmer. So let's go, go, go. And then I think only one more thing I'll add to this is just a pinch of salt. Haven't added that yet. So this, I'm just gonna put in the container with the fried hazelnuts because those are gonna get added together. Uh, the rice is coming up, it looks so good. Do you see those bubbles? The lid's about to blow. Yummo. There she is. Now, we'll just turn it down a little bit. And then pop the lid just to get some of the steam out. That's okay. Pinch of salt. Mmm. The cinnamon stick. Smell hell's good. Look at the color of that too. Yeah, sounds good, Ralph. You'll try and send some more Filipino recipes when you get a chance. I love that. Feel free to share as much as you want. And Green Fang, I'll send a couple recipes via Discord DMs. Thank you for redeeming 75,000 pots and pans points, friend. We are crossing off Kiwi Mish's pots and pans menu on Sunday coming up this week. Korean bibimbap is what we're gonna make. I'm excited to hear what you come up with, Green Fang. Okay, so where are we at? Let's take a peek here. Cashmere rice, hazelnut, apple, cross that off. And then this can just be hot held on the side or it is like so good that you can also serve it like lukewarm, room temp. Because the cauliflower is gonna be hot, the butter chicken sauce is gonna be hot, so it'll reheat the rice back up. Yeah, gotta try the pickled onions. You got some jars, or you just need like a heat proof container to put them in, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take away some things that we won't need for the butter chicken or the cauliflower, which is basically all the spices extra we used for the rice. That's good. I feel like we're rolling right along. I don't think we're taking too long to make anything today. And like, we always take the time to make things right as well. That, I'll put the hazelnuts back. I always keep the nuts in the freezer. They stay better longer. <laughs> Is you're drooling? Izzy Rogue is drooling. Okay, so that. I guess we can just put this back to the side now that it's simmering and clean up the cauliflower while we wait. That's what I'm feeling like. Get that trade up and then maybe while everything else is cooking later, that's when we'll make the creamy cucumber sauce. Keep your nuts frozen. Thank you, Bob. So we have this bag to use up from last week. And I'm only gonna really use the big, big florets for roasting. Otherwise I feel like it just makes a mess on the sheet pan. Make 
Maybe we'll donate these for Astra Pooh Bum snacks with her foods. I know she does love cauliflower. And if you're wondering where that one is, she's outside. She's being a sun dog today. I mean, for good reason. It's so dang nice out. India, Korea, Thailand. Yeah. Okay, it's not, it doesn't want to tear. I cannot use my muscles to do that. Sheesh. It is, it is that temp, Daff. How did you know? We got a 10 degree Celsius sunny day coming up. Do any Indian dishes use mushrooms? Dang, I wish Greek was here still. Because he has also lived in India before Wilson. I don't, I have never had any with mushroom, but that is not to say that it doesn't exist. We should ask Greek tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, that'll be like one full sheet pan for us. Maybe I'll sneak that back here. The rice. Look at that. In a moment. Just want to show you guys. Okay, get the steam gone. Hello, steam fan. There we go. It's looking good. The brown bits are just the cinnamon stick. Once we see a lot of the moisture start to be cooked out, that's when we add the apple and the hazelnut. You'll forget the question. Ooh, mushroom biryani, good one. Thanks for sharing, Ralph. Okay, so we're just gonna cut these a bit smaller and then put them on a sheet pan to roast. I'm not gonna line the sheet pan because I don't find cauliflower sticks at all. That's not gonna balance there, Kate, but good try. So nice bite-sized pieces like that because they will shrink a bit as they roast. Yeah, mushroom biryani, yum. I think the only biryani I've ever made was a lamb. Lamb, lamb belly. Oh no, I guess that's a poor snack too. The cauliflower is like, I'm out of here. Also just gonna turn down the heat a touch on the rice now. So it looks like it's cooking real quick. Posted the link in the recipes discord for the mushroom biryani. Thank you, Ralph. You're a legend. That's how we keep spreading the deliciousness, right? Little by little, every day. Holy, this rice is smelling good. I think to start the butter chicken, we'll fry everything up in some coconut oil. I really like that flavor. Cooking with coconut oil, just don't go too high of heat because it actually has a lower smoke point than grapeseed, which you wouldn't actually expect. Look at that. Okay, so come over here. Let's pull this here for now. Let's pour in our stuff. That's exactly how this should look, by the way. So get the apples kind of layered on first so they steam up. Just soften a touch, right? And then from there, you can pour the fried hazelnut. Insane. Now back on to finish up. Now we'll keep our eye on that. Okay, let's finish this up too. 
It's so good cookie. Like I said, this rice literally changed my life. And this was also the same rice that changed the way I cook my rice on the stove pot. So this was this type of rice. Like that's what they called it on the menu was cashmere rice. And we're like, this sounds insanely good. And then we had it and I was like, it's so fluffy. Like, how do they do this? So then I Googled and it's like the way that Indian people make rice is they basically boil it instead of like simmering it, which a lot of us are taught. And that's how the kernels stay a lot more separate and it fluffs up. It's so good, Clam. Hi, Darth for Baka. Welcome in. Happy Friday, friend. How's you? Okay, two more. Two more collies. I guess we can come back half and half. Rocking. <laughs> if I rock with it, it's not as bad. Samo should be done worky right now if everything went good today. Okay, let's get in there. Feels like you're back on a ship, I'm sorry. Seems like an everything but the sink raised dish. Yeah, I've got this, this, and this. Just throw it in there, see what happens. Totally bonk. I've done it before. I was saying earlier with dried apricots, dried cranberries. Uh, this recipe that I linked, they use pomegranate seed and grape, as well as apple. Cashews is really good. Almonds is really good. So that's almost ready for us to prep for roasting. Get the cauliflower dust out of here. Finish this up together. And then all I usually do is take a spoon. This is the turmeric one, so I'm okay to use that. Come on down, have a peek. So there's still some liquid cooking out down there. Just let that keep cooking out. That's exactly what we want to see. So yeah, very, very near to being done. Love it. Next up is the butter chicken, which I think we'll do on the induction instead, just because it holds the heat a bit better. And then we will do it, I think, in the Dutch oven. Or we can do it in the cast iron. There should be enough room. Fruits and nuts in a rice dish. Yeah, I'm down for that. You're not a fan of elevator music. It bothers you on so many levels. Are you saying that about my stream? Is that what you're feeling? I've played this same playlist for like pretty sure a year now. Oh, some other ones then? <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. That's why I'm not going away from this yet. Yeah, I think I want a nice wide bottom pan. So maybe while we wait for the rice, let's do this. Let's look over the butter chicken. Oh, a dad joke from Reddit. On so many levels, I get it now. It went over my head. <laughs> Gone. So yeah, we fry up the chicken first until just brown. So basically sear it like any other stew or soup that we prep. Do the chicken, take it out, do the onions, ginger, garlic, spices, add your tomatoes and the cream. They puree the sauce. This is wild. We can use the immersion blender if we want to puree it, but it should be pretty dang smooth considering. Okay, good to know. 
Shall we check? Okay. Just poking around. No excess liquid left in the bottom of the pot here. So all we're gonna do, turn this off, pop the lid on, and we'll just put this to the side for now. The oven will be going on momentarily, so that'll keep everything warm. So now we're just gonna do a quick switch of the cooktop. And then I'll go grab the chicken. Might even put the chicken in the oven to finish. Hoo hoo hoo! With the cauliflower. Since I'm using this shallow brazer. Nice, it did come off. That was from our pancake endeavor on the weekend. The banana, like made a caramel. I didn't want to scrub all of my seasoning off, so I just kind of washed it and then let it dry up. I got rid of that. Your balance. You're stumbling and fumbling around the house. Be careful, Palooza, please. Okay, and then like I said, we are gonna do coconut oil to start our butter chicken. Nom. Go like 330F on there. Gotta keep using up this big jug, right? Yeah, I made it back to my chair. I'm gonna stay there. That sounds like a safe space. Healthy amount of oil. <laughs> Very contradictory sentence. And then we might have to add more after we do the chicken. We'll suss it out. We did this earlier, the prep for it. So finely minced onion and then ginger and garlic in here. Grab the chimkin. It's been marinating for an hour and 15 minutes. And yogurt, spices, and flavorings. Whoa. Mmm. Holy, it is gonna be smelling so good in here. And then looks like I gotta put my little shim. My induction shim up. All the oils going to the back of the pan. That's a not good. Grab a spoon too. Okay, pan is almost hot. That's what it's telling me. There we go. Gonna even this out. Okay, that's exactly what we want. I just turn this down a bit and then I'm just gonna kind of scoop enough of this out. Careful, it might splash. To create an even layer in here. Spread out the chunkers. The best that we can. We're just trying to get a sear on this to create some flavor. We're now working on the layers of flavor in the butter chicken. This is chicken breast and tenders. And then we should add a little bit of salt as well. 
while we're working on this, just a bit more. We added a pinch in the marinade. And so see how I added the chicken in and then now I'm not really touching it? Because it is kind of stuck to the bottom of the pan right now. So if you try and move it, we're just gonna tear it. Hey Chris, just driving home. What time do you think the butter chicken will be ready? Don't mean to sound rude, just trying to figure out your route. We actually might be able to drop it off to you later because we got to go out. So... Yeah, do you want to do that instead, Chris? When Sam comes home later, we'll just start making our way to you because I think we're going to go to TNT. I just don't want to make you drive here and then it's not ready. Boss man. 0636 so I'm gonna say it will be ready within the next hour and a half if you would if you did want to come but honestly I would say hold off for now how about that okay let's see be able to do a little flip a little stirzy I know that the chicken tenders are gonna be very delicate right We can add a bit more coconut oil just for this side, I think. It is trying to stick a touch. And then all I'm doing is like moving the stuff over to one side so that we can put the chicken back in the other side after it's been seared. Yeah, if we drop it off, I think that's what we'll do. Save your gas. So yeah, sear this at a high heat. We're not trying to cook the chicken. We're just trying to develop some flavor on the outside. And literally, like if it feels stuck, then it's not ready to flip yet. That's what it's telling you, because it'll lift off on its own. Kind of like how when you grill. It's like, oh no, it's stuck to the grill grate. That's just telling you it's not ready. Yeah, chimkin tender might be a bit tender. <laughs> oh, my oil's here. Okay. Don't go too far, Kate. That one wanted to stick, I'm sorry. Ain't nobody got time for that. And like usually after the first, the first run, stuff won't stick after that. Cause like, look at that browning that we got going on. I think I turned the pan down too much the first time. Go, go, go. I might try a spatula instead of that silicone spoon. That's good. Try and scrape off a bit of this stuff building up just so we don't burn the fond, right? It's not burnt, it's definitely nicely caramelized down there. Because there's like ginger and garlic in the marinade too. So a bit of sweetness. This is honestly not the easiest one to try and sear up at home. I will say that. But it's still better to take this step than to just like put everything together in one pot. You're gonna get way better flavor. Just keep kind of adding a little bit of oil as you see 
it needs it. And then the other key is just not overloading the pan either with too much. Because then, like I said, it will cool off and maybe it will want to stick or try to stick. Uh, two more rounds after that. And then we can start bringing the sauce together. Keep adding a bit of coconut oil. It's crazy how much the chicken absorbs the fat as it cooks. Like really wild. Give a little switcheroo. Almost ready. Yay. It's not sticking as much now. So you'll find the like fine balance, right? On the heat. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Don't forget to season a little bit, every batch as well. The way that we develop layers of flavor, we also develop layers of seasoning. You don't want to add it all just at the end. Then it will taste too salty. Nice, this is going better. Boom, boom. Flip all those over. Beautiful. Boom. This is going to be good. The marinade is key. Couple more moments on this round and then those are good. Ready for the next one. <laughs> you would risk salmonella just to get in on that already. Don't do it. Don't her. No. Sneaky bit of oil. Like, look at that. It's just soaking up the oils. I guess it is chicken breast, though. It's not thigh. So it, like, literally has no fat to give to us here. This is fair. And it's not like a cut of beef, which is marbled either. Literally, like, the leanest meat we're working with here. Let's load it up. And then I'm going to let that oil heat up as I scoop out these bits. Mmm, look at those onion garlic pieces. Onion garlic ginger. Keep that fond dialed. How did I know that I had to do that? Something was telling me, it's like, okay, we gotta scrape this now and then scoop it. And if you think I'm tossing that out, no, that's literal flavor. It's like caramelized yogurt and spices. You toss that out, you're wild. You're wildin'.
Maybe an upset tum once or twice, but never, yeah, like a full bad food poisoning. Me too. Or actually, no, sorry. I got it a bit in Thailand. I don't know if it was like the food was bad. Like, I don't think it was that. Just it was too spicy. The one curry I got, I wasn't ready. So that destroyed me. But yeah, other than that, I've gotten pretty lucky. Had like a bad scallop before that took me out for like a day. Just felt like icky, but that's about it. That's pretty good though, Pluser, cause like we've had people come in stream from the States just saying like how often people get food poisoning in that country. It's just like, what? I feel so bad. I feel so dang bad for you guys. Yeah, the bad scallop, you remember it. And so even since then, we still haven't got it. We still haven't had scallops. We're wrecked. Whoa. Brown bits, I see them. That looks like caramel in there. I know, it did destroy me. I'm just gonna go grab some water. I really like scallops too, Wilson. It's pretty bad when you get bad scallops living on the coast. I got really upset at this store and we did get our money back. Like, don't put scallops or seafood on sale just because it's going bad. Like, are you trying to make people sick? A run-in with dodgy shrimp. Yeah, that'll do it too. Okay, let's flip. Should be able to. Some of the first biddies. Yeah. Layers of flavor. Keep it going. Hello. Hello. I love how turmeric just like comes or becomes so yellow as it cooks. The color just gets deeper and deeper. Also, don't think I've ever had a butter chicken made with like mostly chicken tenders. So this is probably going to be insane. Insane. Priciest butter chicken, but worth it. I mean, only pricey if you wanted to go out and buy the tenders. For us, it wasn't. Hello, my position. Where am I from? I live in Canada. Where are you from? Highlighter chicken, yeah. Dump a load of turmeric on some chicken breast. <laughs> You're from Iran, welcome in. We like to have people in our community from all over the world. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, so these, whenever we flip it, it always cooks quicker on the other side. The flip is always quicker. So let's go, go, go. We'll do one more scrape again. I can see some buildup of the ginger and the garlic, so don't let it burn. Because then it goes bitter tasting and not that good. My pan handle's a bit warm here. I might even just take it off of the burner while I scrape it. Just so it doesn't like splatter on me. Holy, these bits, these bits that are gonna go into the butter chicken. Wild. And the brown bits are like, it's gonna make it not as, orange in color, I feel. Not as vibrant. Just get in more coconut oil. Okay, last round.
All of the hard stuff after this is done. And then we can make our cucumber sauce while everything cooks. So good. I'm glad we did the rice early. Cause that was like a bit of a process. Okay, don't forget to season this bit as well. Mmm, is that what it's called? Bengal Brasserie? That's your Indian spot? Nom, I'm so happy that we inspired you, Is That's awesome. And then we'll probably just need a little bit more fat to fry the onion, the garlic, and ginger next for the sauce. We've created a meat and vegetable caramel. You can see it here in the center of the pan. Right there. It's like right there. It's popping up. Yum. Go, go, go. Butter chimkin is life. Okay, so done with this spoon. I'm gonna switch to not a slotted spoon while we're making the sauce. Get rid of that, grab the next one. And I mean, might as well use a red spoon to make the butter chicken sauce. I'm thinking these need a flip. Yep. Now it's definitely starting to smell like an Indian restaurant in here. Holy smokes. With a crate of Cobra beer? Is that like an Indian brand of beer? I don't think I've heard of that one. I know all the like Thai, Southeast Asian beers. Okay, so next thing going in is this. We're bringing the butter sauce together. Might do a mix of butter and coconut oil for it. Just to stay traditional. And then I'm gonna turn this down now too. Just while we're doing the switch from the chicken to the onion. That looks insane. And now that we've seared the chicken, like it's partially cooked now. So that means it's not gonna take as long to make either. Okay, so we'll do a couple tablespoons of coconut oil to get going. I'll grab some butter. We'll slice off of that. Cobra beer is a beer brand manufactured in the United Kingdom and India. The group's primary product is a premium beer with an alcohol strength of 4.5%. Originally 4.8, so very like low. Low alcohol content. Use my paring knife. I haven't even used our paring knife yet today. Whoa. Not to be confused with King Cobra malt liquor. Have you had that? Give me 
one sec. Turn this stuff off in there. Okay, onion. We're gonna pop it in. Let that butter finish melting out. Put that to the side. Whoa, definitely wipe this turmeric a bit off of my board. Very dangerous. Turmeric will stain anything and everything. It has no feelings. That's why we used to drink when we were teens, a 40 ounce. <laughs> so what's the other one we have here in Canada? I forget the brand of it because I never drank it, but I had friends that did that. I forgot. Dave, how is your stream? How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. We're just bringing our butter chimkin sauce together now. We just finished searing the chicken off. And now we're starting with frying our onions. Onion, ginger, garlic as the base. You love King Cobra, the band. Was good, mate? So tired, though. You can't concentrate today. My Dang it. So now you need some extra rest, sounds like. And yeah, we're all doing good here today. I'm feeling really good. We already did our cashmere rice. And once we get the butter chicken sauce going... I think we'll work on our cauliflower, dress it up for the oven next. I think the one here is called Old English or something. Is that accurate? Maybe that's the Canadian version. Nice, so keep these moving. You can see the color of the onions slowly bringing up the flavor from the bottom of the pan. It's absorbing it as it should. We already opened our can of tomato. We measured out our cream for the butter chicken. We have minced ginger and garlic. You were playing hold fast again? Nice. It's like an old school kind of set game. Basically same thing, low end malt liquor, old English 400. Yeah, that's the one, pal. You know, yeah, like I said, I never drank that. But I had some friends that were into it. I was like, oh no. Not for me. That's the limit. Okay, keep the salt over here too. We're done with the coconut oil now. St. Ives. Oh yeah, Colt 45. Mickey's. I will say this smells really good with the butter, the onions frying in butter. I think we're good to add the ginger and garlic next. Just going by the color of these. Looking really nice. Holy, this smells, guys. This smells. Spread it back out so it cooks evenly. Done with that container. When you were young, Mary, you were into Michelob was always more of a spirit drinker. Yeah, me too, pal. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh, four loco bonk. Do they still make that? I remember when it came out. That'll mess you up. I don't think they should make that one anymore. 
Southern comfort? Oof, you wrecked yourself, Mary? Yeah, that's like me and vodka. We're not really friends anymore. It's okay, though. Okay, so next thing in here is some more spices for the butter chicken sauce. We'll add those momentarily. Toast the spices always. Toast the spices, nuts, and seeds. These are rules that we abide by. Can't wait to try that rice. It's gotta be insane. Even coconut, like coconut shreds is really yummy in that style of rice too. If you're a coconut lover. For loco, weasel almost got kicked off the plane. Oof. <laughs> Had one of those, hated the next day, yes. I think I remember my next day too. 100 proof vodka or Everclear? Oh, see, like I was always a like rum person. But yeah, that would wreck you even more, right? Because of a little bit of like sugar caramel. Wild. Okay, let's see the amounts of spices that we need to add to this. One and a half teaspoons of cumin, same of garam masala, one teaspoon of coriander. Okay, so no more turmeric then. So cumin, garam masala, coriander next. Yeah, the darker the better. Sober up before going to bed. Yeah, drink a gallon of water. Exactly. There's things that we have learned, right? We've learned over the years. I think my favorite dark rum bonk is Flor de Cana. Do you know that one? I believe it is Jamaican. Okay, one more small spoon for all the spices. <laughs> Never had that one. Ooh, you should really try it. It's like much better than most of the other name brands, let's say. So our garam masala, we'll sprinkle that over. Yeah, the crown, CR, too smooth. That one will get ya. You ever seen the movie Lawless? That was the county next door to yours? I haven't. Now I want you. Just turning down the heat a touch. Cumin seed, last one. I think we're nailing this. Stir, stir, stir. And then I honestly think we're gonna pop the cream in first, just for a little deglaze action here. And the chicken doesn't go in until near the end. Into these little crispy bitlies. Bamboo rum is so good. I've never heard that one before either. We'll have to look it up. Now this is gonna lift all the goodness off of the bottom and I think I'm just gonna rinse this out with a touch of water because we will need it. Vanilla crown in the freezer. Mary's like, all of this chat. I need to help myself out here. <laughs> and then it's not until we add the tomato that this will really transform in color. A banana aftertaste almost, wow. That's like Hefeweizen beer, has like a banana aftertaste, it's so good. 
Is that for Florida Kenya, Palooza? It's really good. It is really, really good. Okay, so next. Oh, for Bamboo. Sweet. <laughs> I even just like the name of that one, right? Bamboo. Bamboo rum. And so we'll let this cook out and then we'll blend up the whole tomatoes. I'm just going to kind of smoosh through the center of each one just to help them break down a bit quicker. I'm going to keep stirring and scraping the bottom as this comes up to temp as well. And then I'll just go rinse this one out too with a bit of water that we'll need. It's coming together. We're getting there. Oops. Put my mouse in the wrong spot. There we go. She's getting thick. Holy, it's already simmering. And that's a good way to rinse out your can. Bam, into the recycle. This is gonna be a very deep, deep butter chicken. Deep colored. That's how you know there's lots of flavor. But yeah, we can simmer this sauce in the oven since we'll have it going for the cauliflower. Keep our eye on it. And then we'll just use our little immersion blender to blend those tomatoes in before we add the chicken. That's really important. Almost scraped everything off of the bottom here. Let that go a bit more. And then turn on the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we want for the cauliflower. And then I'll just move some of these racks around. Make room for this. Perfect. So keep stirring and scraping the bottom. We don't want anything else stuck down there before it simmers. Alf, Indian food's been your jam lately? Well, I'm happy. Happy to hear it. Yeah, we had a hankering and I had leftover chicken breasts and tenders. So this is what we're making today. Hold on to that spoon for sure, for later. There's that. And so I'm just gonna pop this into the oven as it's warming up. We're making art. Food is art of some sort, right? It's pretty artsy. Actually, just keep this simmering. Might as well. Now reading about ginger beer, I want that palooza. Now I want ginger beer in my life. So chicken will go back here. I'm just trying to organize myself. The rice is staying hot on top of the oven. I'm just gonna put the induction down to this side now since we're simmering so that we can finish our cauliflower and get that roasting too. Boom. So earlier we cut up the florets of the cauliflower into nice bite-sized pieces. And now we can dress it for roasting. Edible art, yeah. So there's our tray. It should spread out into one nice even layer so it doesn't like steam and get soggy. 
Now I am gonna dress it with a little bit of olive oil and then we'll sprinkle spices to make it taste like curry as well as some salt and pepper. That's it, my watch. Almost there, Kate. Just stand up. Oh, funny you say that, because I've literally been standing for the last uh, three hours. So joke's on you. So healthy amount of olive oil to dress this so it doesn't dry out. And then the oil also helps it caramelize when it roasts. Bring the pep. We got our salt on this side. And then I think they did garam masala. I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow curry powder. Oh yes, and some cardamom they did, which goes very nice with cauliflower. Put the cardamom away. So boom. I'll go this smaller side so I can maybe sprinkle it a bit better. There we go. Just gonna stir this shimkin real quick. I don't know if you can see in the corner over here, but she is going. She's giving her over here. We're simmering right along. Holy, when we blend that. You guys think we need a bit more turmeric just for the color to make it more vibrant? I feel like I need a little bit more. The Blade Killer. Your husband is a lucky man to have married you with all your cooking skills and passion. Yeah, I mean, the funnier part of that is that he is also a chef. <laughs> so I don't know who's luckier because he also makes me a lot of tasty things too. Just you guys don't see it all because he doesn't stream it. Yeah, turmeric, more. Sammy's the meat man, Torino knows. Okay, sorry, just had to stir this in. If you wanna see, I'm over here. Just while the oven's coming up. Oh, Sam updated the bring list. That means that he's gonna be home momentarily. Yeah, that turmeric totally fixed this. We're balancing it out. It's about the color and the flavor. There we go. Boom, awesome. Whoa. Sauce earlier looked amazing. We're getting there. Hi, Merc by a skirt. Hi, caffeinated couple. How are you? Yeah, Sam is a really great cook and he has his own passion. <laughs> Torino, you should try his jerky, and I'm not being pervy. <laughs> Holy smokes. So some yellow curry powder for nice flavor, but also for some color, too. We know there's turmeric in there as well. Then lastly, garam masala. This has been used almost every place on the menu today. Almost. The only place I guess this won't be is the cucumber yogurt sauce. Okay, last two. Salt and pepper. Whoop whoop. Yeah, curry. One of my faves too. And it's like, okay, winter is coming to an end here. Let's make all of our favorite heavy dishes that we probably won't have in the summer, right? When it's really hot. And then, so I'm gonna toss this up and I always like to sprinkle the salt in one layer instead of sprinkling this and mixing it because maybe the salt will clump up and get too salty, and I am gonna mix with my hands.
the smells in here. I can't. Fluff it up. Oh no! That one left us too. The cauliflower is trying to run away. What to heck? That's the second one. Look at there's three. That's three. The cauliflower is like, it's not you, Kate. It's me. <laughs> I think it's going to be great, Alf. I really love roasting cauliflower. And putting a little curry kiss on there. Mm. Just gonna bring everything together. Okay, BRB. Wash it on up. I think we've done really good for timing so far today. Like, it might seem like we've been taking a long time, but we've made everything from scratch so far. washed up good to go okay now seasoning and then we'll get the uh, butter chicken i almost called it tandoori chicken in we'll get the tandoori chimkin in check this out it is looking insane insane yeah very aggressive cauliflower okay it's gonna be like a wind tunnel Let that baby simmer along. Okay, seasoning. Yeah, it salivated me too, actually. <laughs> Sprinkle the salts so this doesn't taste bland. I can maybe do a little bit more oil poured over too. It's crazy how much it soaked that up. I felt like I put a lot. Mmm. This is gonna, like, just taste so good. Gonna feel so good after eating this meal. Yum, yum, yum. So that can go to this side. I don't think we're gonna add it in just yet, because, like I said, it only takes about 15 minutes. Pop it over here. We'll let the butter chicken go. What about this? For 10 minutes, we'll let it go in there. And then we'll blend it and add the chicken and let that simmer out. So while we're waiting, we'll make our creamy cucumber sauce. You got a cheese delivery from mom? What kind of cheese? I really like that. Okay, so done with all the spices now. I think I should just quickly clean this up because I have like eight, eight different spices hanging out on my counter. That's a bit much. Have I ever worked with vital wheat flour? Is it also known as vital wheat gluten? I don't think I have, but I have heard of it. What are you making, Merked? So glad you ate the large cob salad, Mary. Thank you. I really try and do amazing food. So I'm glad that you guys noticed that. Mmm, Cabot extra sharp cheddar palooza and matzo for making pizzas was she watching mrs ruby earlier <laughs> i love that friday like growing up we would always do friday like pizza day at home we would always order pizza 
That was like our celebratory thing. Okay, gonna take this ginger back. I will be back with yogurt. Do I have cucumber in here? Perfect amount of cucumber to grate up. And then I'm gonna do dill and green onion for the herbs in there. Hi, Stam. Hope you had a good day at work. Happy Friday to you, my dude. Not currently making anything with it, but just wondering. Hey, we can learn together if you want. That way it's not as scary. That's so nice, Palooza. People taking care of people. Oh, and some lemon, I think. Oh yeah, mint. Mint, dill, green onion, lemon, yogurt. Om nom nom. A bakery near you does sprouted grain bread. That's amazing. It's supposed to be very good. Sprouting grains before you eat them is supposed to be great for your digestive system. So we're gonna grate the cucumber. Because my yogurt is really thick, I don't think I'm going to drain the cucumber after we grate it. We want a little bit of the cucumber water to thin out the yogurt almost. Just wiping off my knife, it had some cauliflower on it still. It's gonna be great! Just trim off that end into there. And then I'll probably do, since there's like a bunch of us, like half of this, I'll just mix it in a little bowl. The vital wheat gluten, you use it for vegan meals. I gotta look into it then. Yeah, there's 75 of us eating today, Palooza says, so you might as well use the whole thing. <laughs> I like, I can see the day where there's just like all of you are actually outside the truck here participating with the stream. I can't wait for that day. I hope it comes soon. This should be enough. So best way to lift this up, because it's pretty juicy, right? I'll use a bench scraper. Yeah, if I had a car, I would have already started driving up. <laughs> How is this in here? Oh, it looks so good simmering in the oven. We need an oven cam. Okay, let's just clean off the, the grater first. The juices. Juicy cuke. Awesome. Wipe, wipe. Shall we take the yogurt next? Are you down with the thickness chat? Yay! Vicky! <laughs> I can't wait! Thank you for the thousand biddies, friend. We got a resub from you today. You're donating biddies to the food truck fund. Thank you. Let's do one more scoopa. Cause this leftover is also good for a chippy dip. That's a hype in chat for sure. I need to even do that. Hypes in chat. Get them going. 
Okay, next one we're gonna actually season the yogurt. Hee <laughs> hee, cookie. Season the yogurt, this will be necessary. <laughs> Chippies and dippies, Chris knows. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told Stream that story. Stream, do you know the Chippies and Dippy story about me? Or was that only told at work? Put that up. We only add the lemon if we feel like we need it, so I usually do that last. I'm gonna only do one green onion. The rest of those are for Sunday. We got baby dills. Not just dill, but baby dill. Is chippy a Canadian thing? I don't know. I It was just me being silly, really. That rhymed and I didn't mean it to. Silly, really. <laughs> T. Casella, how are you doing? Worked with Vital Wheat Gluten for about six years now, so you've learned a few things. Okay, this is good to know. I also enjoy when my sh chat community knows more than me. I'm okay with this. This was the bunch of mint that we got from this store yesterday. I don't know if we'll ever find nicer than that. So if anyone needs any mint, come on over. The only thing I'm gonna do is take this bottom off. Cause that's what makes it go bad quicker. Baby dill and springy onion. And then we use the smallest amount of that because it is so strong. That's why I was like, hey, come on over. Please, we need help. First things first, pick the dill off of the tough stem, which is mostly just the middle part. We'll chop that. Looks nicer than the homegrown, right? I was in shock yesterday. How was everyone's week? It went by really fast, but it was good. Yeah, we did some like extra Instacarting around on Tuesday, Wednesday, make some extra cash. And well, week goes by fast and then it's back to Friday cooking with all of you. Yeah, we learn from each other. That's like my favorite thing. Preparing Thai basil for the garden this year. Yeah, I'm gonna grow several tons, Alf says. <laughs> you do that. And then hopefully there'll be people to share it with too. Now prep the little spring onion, trim the roots off. And then usually I pick this like little dry outside layer off before we slice it thin. Looking insane in there. Oh, we're 26. Oh, we're done the 10 minutes for the butter chicken. So that means we're now blending up the sauce so that we can add the chicken. Uh, yeah, I don't want to let it like overcook. So I'm just going to move this stuff over to the side for now and then we'll come back to it. Move the little mise en place around. Need a hot cloths. And a trivet. Yeah, you wanna start seeds, Mary, but there's still too much snow. Whoa, did not expect the steam blast. But I should know better. We know better. Look at that. Butter chimkin. Now we turn this up again. Hi, Sama. You have to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Now what? Hold out your arms. Arms? Is it cold? Nope. What? Is it Christmas? Garbage can. Whoa. I actually thought something fell off the shelf. What? 
Hello. For all the times I've sworn yep. over the last four and a half years, it was thank on you. Sale that you got it. it was on sale. See, told you, never buy anything full price. Thanks, dearly. They have a proper scale. Yeah. Finally replace it. Cookie <laughs> nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my thing's over here. We're stepping up. Yeah. We're moving weights. It is hot it's hot. <laughs> it's a measure of Sam's love for me. Bonk. Thank you for that, actually. <laughs> I love it. That was a really cute pun. And yeah, I told you it was gonna get up to 10. 10 degrees Celsius. Boom. Boom. Okay, turn this down so we don't splash. It smells too good. It smells too good in here. I don't know if we have enough. Ouch, don't touch that, Kate. Habit. What do you need? What do you need? Good? A towel to just turn the pan. Hey, hello everyone. How are you today? I was lurking while I was working, cleaning the fryer. If you guys haven't checked out the photos, they're fantastic. Yeah, we showed them. Yeah? Yeah, they said good one. Okay. I know you can't really see too much of it, but this is the way we're going. My love has been weighed and found sufficient. <laughs> Dude, that fryer was nasty. Just definitely trying not need, to splash. Definitely need to clean it more often. But it's clean now. Make some nice fresh chips next week. Yum, yum, yum. Chippies? Chippies and dippies. Okay, Ralph, gonna go get ready to get some dinner. It was so fun hanging with you too. Thanks for popping by again today. Fries. Okay, so this is the lowest speed setting I can go. We're really pushing the limit here. Try and move some of this stuff down here. Lowest speed is still over 9,000. That's what I get for buying a, an industrial <laughs> immersion blender. I am tilting it. I am. <laughs> yeah, and on the weekends, this is my motor for the speedboat. Easy, easy now. Just go around one time like this. Ouch. By the way, good job on dishes so far. Not bad, Not hey? Not bad. Not bad on a Friday when I leave you alone. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Pew, pew, pew. Hold this, please. Holding. We always unplug. Always unplug. And now, I can open it up. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Did Chris come in and say yet? Uh, never mind. Chris <laughs> Christofferson is here with us now. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh no. We buttered it. We buttered the mini pro. It's been buttered.
Now, the more insane part even. We add the chicken to the pot finally. What? And then the cauliflower goes in as well. Sauce. Thick sauce. I might add a little bit of water. <laughs> Just to keep the texture dialed. <laughs> We're going out? I don't know, I haven't talked to Samo yet. He just got home. But I think so. Chris said we're going out? Huh? I said maybe. Did you get the shabu? Oh yeah. Yeah, we can drop it off to you then. So that's what I thought we would do, is we'll go get the shabu at TNT and might as well just drop it to yeah, him. that makes sense. Okay, good chat. Okay. Now we toss the chicken in the butter. Oh. Uh, you went to Costco after? Guess who we've seen at Costco. Who did you see at Costco? Dave. Dave? <laughs> yeah. Was he getting his tenderloin? Oh, that's funny. Like the business one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were walking around and April was like, hi, chef. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now that goes back in the oven, guys. Do you think we should loosen it up? I don't think so, because the chicken's going to release some juices. Holy. <laughs> So in with this. And in with this. Now I'll do a 10 minuter. Hi Gail, how are you? No pine berries? Was there none there? I don't know. Mia, no. Sam says no. Okay, so we have our shredded cucumber, Greek yogurt, salt and pep. Now we're gonna start mincing up our herbs for our raita. I was gonna say, did everything go okay with your surgery? It's been a rough week. Hopefully there's people around to help you out. I've never really had any things like that happen in my life before. I consider myself lucky. So I can't even understand what you're going through even. Need two more still? Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully you can just get them all over with, hey? On to the mint. And we're almost done. It's almost food -a time. Yes. And then I don't think we are going to be making the pie crust together, but if you want to know how it's made, we have many videos on YouTube, past VODs from Twitch where we make the pie crust, so just search it up. There's like almost too many times. Like how many pies have I made before on stream chat? At least over 30 now. <laughs> Big ones, small ones, all of the pies or tarts. One is to remove stabilizing pins put in, then the metal joint from last year's injury is fused. Holy smokes. Well, thanks for the info. We'll be thinking of ya.
Bruh. Bro. Broski. Brohim. What can I do for you, Bendy Prendy? How's it going? Do you like meat? Yeah, I'm making butter chicken today. Chicken is meat. Yeah, Sam's dad is having another knee replacement. He's gonna be fully bionic knees. That'll be interesting. Hope that goes well too. Now we mix this and then we'll see if it needs a bit of lemon juice. You're about to get hecked up. <laughs> That's what we call a freaky Friday. <laughs> Weird. Weird indeed. Welcome to the world. Especially the world of the internet. Four years later, yeah, people still the exact same. <laughs> Man. Ban him. Thanks, Cookie. Let's try this. See how we did. We have five minutes left. It needs lemon and more salt. Otherwise though, the herb is really nice. Trolls for dice. A four year old golden? I love peppers, don't even say that. <laughs> Cookie's like, no, don't. Don't guys. And look at this, like this is what tells me. It's the jiggle that does it. Hold your hand under just to catch any seeds. Yeah, you saw it. Cookie was almost so fast. <laughs> Can we make it a three for three? It can't be a Friday without at least one. So that, and then a little bit more of this. I'll just shake some in. About a teaspoon, let's say. Like you always have to season your dairy just because of how creamy and fatty it is, right? And then doing the lemon juice and salt will really pull out the flavors of the herbs, I find. And make the cucumber taste more prominent. We're balancing the flavors now while we wait for everything to finish. Speaking of, chicken is not really simmering yet, but that's okay. We're getting there. Okay, gonna use the back of the spoon now. Try this again. Yeah, nice chunker. Mmm. That did it. Creamy. Herby. Really refreshing with the cucumber. Perfect. That's really, really good. Oof. Too busy looking at the food. Look down for two seconds. Yeah, what happened? Cool, Gail. Thanks for all the info. So yeah, we got some folks in, in our community that have gone through some things like that. You guys gotta stick together. We always make sure everyone is okay. I'm gonna go away with our herbs, yogurt, and lemon. And we need some plates to plate up. We're almost there. 
Lemon and salt for the win, totally. Okay, rinse my knife, we're done with that. What else? We're done with some other things over here I'll get rid of. Hot cloths can hang out. Okay, butter chicken spoon, keep that. Rice spoon, keep that. Done with the grater. Yeah, really not as that many dishes today. Killing it. Okay, I'm just gonna take one more bathroom break. Raita, like Indian tzatziki. Okay, I'm back. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Gail. Hey, though, it's one thing you never think of is like aqua therapy changing into like the bathing suit to do that. It's probably a little bit painful to begin with, but then the therapy part is much better. It's like you got to take what you can get, hey? Bonk, have a good day at work. Hopefully you don't have to work too hard. Looking forward to hanging out with you tomorrow. And yeah, have a good one. Stay safe out there. And thanks for hanging out while you did have the time. It means a lot. Okay, let's check on this stuff. My timer's going off. I'm gonna take away this cutting board cam now since we're just finishing in the oven. Any ideas for using sumac powder? It's really good. What's the spice? What's the spice that like Middle Eastern cuisine uses? Zatar? That's the one. Zatar you can make. So, so good. Or yeah, put sumac on like lamb cookie said. Good one. Hey, look at that steam bomb. Cauliflower, she's getting there. Actually almost done. Not a ton of coloring on there, but that's okay. It's gonna taste really heckin' good. And now we definitely need a rimmed plate or a couple bowls. Ah, almost lost that one. I'll do mine on this for the white, will look really good. And then we'll try the two boys' plates with these two and see how it looks in the black bowl. Oh yeah, good one. Sumac powder on rice, or I was thinking like putting it into salad dressings or vinaigrettes would be yummy. But yeah, it goes really well with Middle Eastern flavors. Really heckin' good, guys. Okay, Chris, okay. You've got a ton of it. And then Alf, you've used sumac to make an insane salad dressing and always good on kebabs. There we go. Thanks for sharing, friends. All the info. Literally like two more minutes and then we're plating. So we should get some trivets out. 
to hold the hot stuffs. That can be, we'll do that for the cauliflower. I would actually love to pop the butter chicken up on the board with us. Boom, boom. Sneak it up there. So I'll do the guy's two plates first. And then ours, just gonna put this crazy good mint away. Trivets, we need a trivet command. Nice, Gail. Sounds perfect. We're almost there. And we'll actually mix up the cashmere rice right now, I think, while we're waiting. Mix that good stuff up. We have apples and hazelnuts we did. Hi, Mountain Man Murphy, how are you? So boom, boom, come back over. So nice and warm still. Okay, ready for this? Cashmere rice. We got a really good recipe linked for this. We fried the hazelnuts first. Then you add like onions some spices in there. There's a little cinnamon stick that you do. Bay leaf, turmeric, obviously. We also added a bit of saffron. There's also some cardamom in here. Do you owe me any more money? I messaged you back, Gail, and I said I just haven't picked up any of the groceries for the lasagna yet. So let's just, let's just say that you did give enough so far. I just don't want to say yes or no right now without knowing, but I will keep you in the loop for sure. You know what else we haven't done yet is like actually tried this. That's just gonna soak up all the flavors. Yep. The crunch of the hazelnut, so nice. Little bit of moisture from the apple. I'm happy with that. Okay. Timer's going off. This goes back here. I just don't want any mushy cauliflower. The happy dance. This is how this turned out. That looks nice. And then we'll see if the chicken is cooked in here. It is bubbling, so it should be. I also like how this looks. Got like a bit brown. We didn't put a lid on. I'm just gonna grab a thermometer and try and take the internal temp of one of these bigger pieces. Just didn't want to disappear and leave me hanging. All good. Yeah. No, you're not abandoning. I know that you're working through some stuff. Okay, where's like a big chunker right here? Like just? We'll let it go for a couple more minutes in there just while we're plating up the first few things. It's around 150, but I would like to just push it a bit farther than that. That would be a good photo, hey? Okay, so we can start with the rice. Boom. Should go all the way up. Now we can like just fit those in. Mmm. 
fresh cilantro on there. That would be good. Yeah, I just watch as I'm scooping this for like any cinnamon stick or bay leaf. Put that up on the side. So I always like to have the rice peek out a little bit from the butter chicken sauce. No cinnamon stick. Next one. Let's just grab some tongs for the cauliflower. You like those bowls, Chris? Yeah, everyone does. They want to buy them, but they don't exist anymore. <laughs> A lot of yellow color today. Veggies. Balance everything out. The vegetables. That's good. The raita just goes on this side for transport purposes for my bro. Give a couple of good scoops in there, but I'm sure Sam will just spoon his on top. That can just like live right there. Yum. Okay, so let's put the lid back on this while we're waiting for the chimkins. We're almost there, Clem. Yeah, everyone loves her bowls. Palooza says, I've been down a Google rabbit hole so many times looking for them. I have too. Like Dust wanted to buy these bowls at Christmas time for I think his mom or something. And yeah, we could not for the life of us find them. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, and like for what you guys pay for your healthcare there, the fact that they're ser serving like trash food to the people who are just trying to heal and get better, that's, that's terrible. Okay. It's time. Don't dip the cloth in. Look at the bubbles. Oh my God. I think I need to take a photo. That's it, that's the one. Lava sauce. So stir, stir, stir. Holy. Oh yeah, I guess I can shut off the oven now. Derp. It's gonna beep, it's okay though. I want parts of all of this. A house down the street, oh, is actually burning Wilson? Oh, are they okay though? Okay, wait, wait. You can't serve stuff without trying it. Like we know we did pretty good bringing it together, but how do we know if this is actually like proper? Mm. Like the smallest amount of salt, that's it. Other than that, it tastes really good. Like the smallest. Keep a little sprinkle on those bit leaves. Since we didn't before. Mm. 
when the chicken tenders are starting to fall apart into the butter chicken. That's when you know. That's enough of the meats, I would say. Now we sauce, sauce, sauce it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whoa. Almost lost it. They are not cast, they're porcelain. That's why we have them, because all the servers broke the other 25 at this one restaurant. So then you can't really run a menu with three pieces of plateware. This is fin safe. Yeah, we didn't add the cashmere chili. We tasted it and it lit me up. So I was like, this is not safe. Okay. That's Samos. This is Randos. I'll be right back. I got it. Oh, okay. Sam is good. Sorry, it was just quiet in there, so I wasn't sure if you I fell asleep or something. Okay. Yeah, Bob's like, Kate's sending me these bowls, guys. Those are mine. Viyun, thanks for coming back to check. I think it all turned out really amazing. Can't wait to taste it all together. One scoopa. Two scoopa. Cauliflower. One more. Oof. There. That should do it. Turmeric. Just goes like everywhere, doesn't it? Just goes everywhere on the plate. Everywhere you don't want it. You really should give the cashmere rice another try. So you tried to make it before of you? What happened? Okay, now the key is on the white plate. Don't make a mess, Kate. It's for the photo. Oh. There's always extra sauce. There's so much chicken in there, Cookie. Which is actually perfect, like enough for three other plates, right? And then usually I just do this. A nice dollop right in the middle. Namas. Too hot. Too hot. Okay, just gonna dial in my photo now.
Okay, test, test. One, two, three. Mic check. Can't fix eating. Huh? He's been working hard. I just have to do my apron back up, that's all. Madame? There is butter in here. We, what did we do? We fried the onions in butter. Thanks, madame, for the 15 months. How are you? Okay, back to the first bite. It's like we went back in time just now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no news. I can't give you anything else other than those words. And congratulations, madame. She's an auntie now. Mmm. I just got some apple in the rice. Yes. <laughs> Would I make this again? A hundred percent. I'm gonna have some of the cauliflower with raita. Mmm. Just like something as substance, almost like a palate cleanser. The veggie. You were already an auntie, but this is the last one she thinks. <laughs> and yeah, Gail, you expect an overwhelming butter taste, but you, you probably won't get that. So yeah, it's kind of, it tricks with your mind a bit. Mmm. This though, this could not be more tender. The butter chicken, like, melts in your mouth. I just need a lazy Susan, like always. Just keep going around and around the plate. Different bites. First note I get on the chicken is, like, the spices. Coriander, cumin, garam masala, mostly. And then we work into the ginger garlic onion flavors kind of like sweet but like it doesn't taste tomatoey at all which is really nice actually with all those spices has good body too on the sauce that's why it's so thick right you didn't thin it out too much okay let's have this bite hazelnut rice and sauce wow yeah, save those recipes. We've made this butter chicken recipe before on stream. That's why we made it again, because it is so dang good and easy. Mmm. Mmm. Feel really good eating it too. Nothing is like heavy. Going in the folder. Let's go. Is that what we call spreading the deliciousness? I think so. No. Stop reminds me, did you get the notice from Lake Crusade about their new bread baker? Looks like a reuse of the brazier bottom, but with a new huge domed lid. Oh, yeah, just get the lid, right? That would be money. So smart. One of your students came back from India this week, madame, brought you a massive box of treats and you're eating them all. What's your favorite one so far? That was really good and I can't wait to share it with Chris, with Scarlett, who are local to us. And then the other portion is for my sister-in-law for her lunch tomorrow at work. Little Indian fried shortbreads. I love shortbread. That's the texture and the flavors are some are sweet, some are savory, cool. Favorite is the one that looks like an orange chicken nugget and the little white ball. I don't think I know that. Cookie, I'm gonna check out the link. Thanks for posting. 
Looks like I'm in Canada. I'll just go to the US site just so I follow through. No, let me go. Yeah, right. Totally looks like we could do a reuse. Just sell the lid. If they were smart, they should. Okay, I'm turning this fan off. That was really good, guys. Really, really well done. I felt like we needed that. Then we did. Okay, so tomorrow, going down, big supper club happening. We're fold up. We even had to add another delivery slot for tomorrow. Sammy has three delivery slots. Each of them have two different houses, so this food stays nice and fresh and hot. I'm excited. Duo of duck plate going down with mini citrus tarts, homemade crust. I'll be making the crust later tonight on my own here. I always like to let it sit overnight in the fridge. It rolls out so easy the next day. Who are we gonna go raid, friends? Awesome stream, not too long either. A nice little four hour stint. So four hours for us to make all of this from scratch for the three of us for six people. That's not bad. And like I taught all of you the entire way too. Yahoo. I'm creeping. Thank you guys for hanging out. Everyone always thanks me, but thank you for spending time with us. I actually don't know where I want to go. Okay, do we want to go from one chicken to another? I think we're going to go raid Montana Max Barbecue. Or do we want Waybread's Pork Cutlet Sandos? Maybe we'll go to Waybread. Haven't seen him in a bit. Prepping all the things and chilling. I like that. Raid, way bread. So, everyone, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. If you need anything, you know where to find us at always. Discord and Twitch is probably the best, but I'll get back to you on the other socials too, if that's what works for you. And yeah, tomorrow will be a little bit longer. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Learning, duck confit, seared duck breast, uh, duck fat roasted potatoes with the five kilo bucket that Sam got yesterday. And then uh, Parmesan lemon roasted Brussels sprouts. Gonna be so good. Yeah, Sam's excited for the duck. So he's a person that receives duck tomorrow in real life. Okay, guys, let's go see how Waybread is doing. Thanks for everything today. Lots of good resubs, a couple of different raids, the classic Mrs. Ruby one. Check her out next time she's live. And other than that, welcome in all new followers. <sighs> Let this butter chicken settle in. Okay, I'm gonna hit this button, guys. Sammy, say bye. 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 Love y'all. See you tomorrow. 11 a.m. Pacific is when we start. Peace.